Finally, I have everything that I need. Thanks to that mad poet, I have the Necronomicon and a destination, finally, to locate the forgotten city of Neruzovit. This journey will be a long one, surely across land and sea is both. But after all the effort that has been put forth, after everything I have attempted over the last few years, this is the victory lap. I will be denied no longer. The black stars beckon, and I will find them. I am Count Hasserton Lowell's the fourth. And when I am done here, no academics throughout the inner seas will forget this name. Somewhere deep within these sands, I will build history. After a few hours poring over the notes that remain documenting our research, my research, within the manor, um, we did it. Don't really know what we did just quite yet, but we're here in sort of dream plane unfamiliar but I know for a fact that we've been here before that's true you have been here before you've been to this very place quite a long time ago in a story that you can no longer remember. And here you have returned. The dream. The caravanserai forgotten within the sands of the desert, left to dry and crack. A place where no travelers ever visit anymore. When last we left off last week, you had arrived here, completed this ritual, Met an old friend, briefly, and made your way inside in pursuit of something. With this ritual in your grasp, you now have the ability to chase after Count Hasserton Lowell's IV, the man responsible for your amnesia, the man who sacrificed your minds in this very dream, both across this world and the one where you left your sleeping bodies. And so you shall, as that ship makes its way across Lake and Carthen, towards the mouth of the Selen River proper, on its voyage to follow in his footsteps the city of Casimir. You have come here to the first place that Lowell's visited when he worked this ritual. That wording perhaps giving him too much credit. When you and why rely and Mellison had organized this ritual for him before. You had stepped inside this structure, this forsaken way station where it looks like no one has set foot for years, and entered an abandoned shop. The shelves barren, save for motes of dust eddies of debris and forgotten little piles of old rags. And one figure, a strange, shadowy man, whose very being seems to trail away into smoke at the floor, who's drifting oddly close to Cammy as he shows you around his shop. Trey had stuck, well, 
very close to his uh <laughs> the, within we, reach. We, we found with the baby here. <laughs> but let us go around and briefly introduce ourselves before we begin. And we might as well start there. Oh. Hello everybody. Start with the child. I'm really I'm the child. <laughs> uh, my name is oh. Su- <laughs> my name is Sully. I play Cammy, uh the itty bitty gnomish witch. Um who's going on a little shopping date with her lizard. Nothing to fear. I'm not paranoid anymore, but maybe I should be. (laughs) Howdy, I'm Derp, and I play Trey Huglum, the hobgoblin frontline fighter man with a pokey stick and full plate and a football helmet and a new shanka now. And it's a good time. I poke people and make them hurt. This is Dreamwalking Hat. That's right. This is Dreamwalking Hat. I'm Colby. I play MD, the full-blooded Coldscard Orc. Get it down in some nice breastplate, a plethora of weapons on him. Now, I think he has uh, six. Just got a new one last week. <laughs> oh, yeah. And a brand new shield that never got mentioned, but he bought one before the trip. So. Oh, you have a shield as I well. I have a shield with a, a shield, shield boss. shield shield? Like a full like steel shield with a shield boss. Fair enough. It's, it's not there for the purposes you think. It's yeah, there it's to, a, hit it's to hit people. Yeah, it's sure. a weapon. Um, one of the... One of the fun changes about second edition is literally anybody can use those. There is no shield proficiency. It's anyone who feels like it can pick one up and carry it in the battle. And you may not be able to wield it adeptly enough to actively deflect attacks, but it, you can still hold it and it helps. Um. Yeah. So he's decked out. Arm for the teeth. I'm Marcus. I play Marius Greyfall, the cool dwarf ranger. Last time when we entered the dream, I turned into a scarier greener ghoul. Um, I see. A lang ghoul. You were green now. Um, yeah. This is scary and strange. And as the group of you sort of look around the shop as we finagle our cameras a little Whoa. bit because we a slight <laughs> oopsie. The shopkeeper still hovering very close to each of you, had directed Easy across the store to some water skins and larger packs, gesturing towards a shelf that bears nothing save for a wad of dirt and debris that's just sort of gunked back against the corner. He turns his attention down to Kemi. What's all about you? What brings you to this humble way station? This Simple stop within the wayward sands. This brief respite. Uh, I, I, you know, uh, we're just kind of uh, sightseeing. Um, haven't li- I? I don't remember ever having seen sand. Clearly, I don't remember clearly ever having seen sand in a desert like this before. So, um, we're on vacation. Well, surely you must have had your fill on your sojourn to this wayward place. No, nope, I can't get around. enough of this stuff. And then you've chosen your destination quite well, it seems. Sand shoes. I see none of you bear them. Are you familiar? Mid. We're not fans, actually. Um, <laughs> we tried them and didn't really, didn't really suit. Yeah, I found that the sand has kept on getting in. I prefer to go barefoot. In your socks and things. And uh, as you respond to him, he looks back and forth. You, Trey, notice that the hand on his side away from Cammy is starting to do something, clearly incanting some sort of gesture. And as you grip your spear and reach to defend her, something changes. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice EZ just disappear. And then... Marius, MD, and finally, Cammy. As each of you, looking around the room, see your companions simply fade away. He continues, you speak as though you have a surprising amount of experience. Experts almost in this place, though I can tell it is new to you. You can barely perceive what's here before you. And in a woe from Tim C, each of you see yourselves alone in the room with this figure. 
as his hand comes up and a smile spreads across his face as he looks down towards Kenny. Allow me to show you. No, that's okay. Um. <laughs> Did he finish his incantation? He. I need you all to roll some initiative. He hasn't done much of anything. Yet. Well, the hands behind the back's all I need for, yeah. him, for to he's, hit him. He's going for something. Look at uh, us. It makes sense. I mean, on his, on his <laughs> initiative, he's doing whatever it is. Man, look at us. But Tim C. A one. A three. A four. Was it, was it message and a five. Tim C again? <gasps> hey. Did you, did you count? Yeah, no. Did one, you? three, four, well, five. Well, we're missing. Oh. Kevin will roll a two. Yeah. No. And he would have. Because he's a team two. player. I'll roll he's a two a in his player. honor. I, there's a two in it. The 20. Uh, 12. Tim C. said, this conversation is tickling my ADHD. Enjoy. I'm enjoying it. And I uh, I have a two in number that I got. It's going to get... I'm just going to go. Yeah, it, it doesn't here. matter. I'm, just gonna, I'm, just gonna I'm last. He technically you, went first, he's right? He's second. Well, good thing you got to have your reaction, so that's, that's good. That's right. Well, what did you get, Marius? Uh, 22. Wow, that's pretty good for rolling a five. I guess... That's Ranger. This is the power of Ranger, I, I suppose. The power of perception. He's MD. I got a 19. That's more like it. Mm. Trey. 16. Four. That's more like it. Cammy. 18. That's more like I'm it. Yeah, it's like this. Him. He got a 29. So you honestly were not super far off. Yeah. Hey, Especially yeah. for having rolled a five. No, perception table, though. <laughs> but Let's as he brings it. up oh, his things. hand. Except anybody else right now. He is absolutely going to provoke from Trey, whose exploration activity was being at the ready with his reaction. Give me your AOL. What does 28 connect? 28 will absolutely connect, yes. Because I rolled an eight. <laughs> Fighter man. And Fighter. as part of that AOL, one of the gems on my helmet of command will glow. Okay. Doesn't do anything right now, but it's a, it's a charge for landing an AOL. Oh, fair enough. Oh, right, got new helmet. Yeah. We bought some stuff for the new helmet smell. And he will take... No, I do plus seven now. So he will take 16. Now, this is going to shock you. But as you reach out with your spear, the point striking true, though it does largely seem to pass through his form, pulling away at his essence around, much like his body trails into smoke on the ground. So too does it whirl and distort around the magic imbued in your spear. But it does not strike him true, and he does resist most of that attack. You're telling me the spectral being resists physical damage? It's crazy, right? Whoa. Never Ghosts seen anything like damage. this. Imagine. I've never heard of such Incorporeal creatures <laughs> in, in my strange aeons. I'm tired I've of never it. heard of. I know what that means. I don't like it. His hand comes up as he looks down to Cammy. No. Imago Mortis. And uh, I don't know what I'm rolling for. Make me a will save. Oh, okay. I don't know <laughs> That's why I'm rolling player, dice. Huh? <laughs> I just like rolling dice. It's fun. Okay. That's why we're here, right? We like rolling dice. It's a nat 20. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep. Yeah, I'm serious, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were saying? Fair enough. <laughs> he does this. Oh my gosh. Why would I use this type? What is, what is happening right now? You've rolled so many. Like this is your book, obviously. I, I guess Chapter so. three is the is the the ballad of Cammy. Unbelievable. Oh <laughs> All right, my fair gosh. enough. You stop. That's so funny. Feel very briefly something, but it's not nearly as overwhelming or as potent as what Malison did to you. For better or worse, she has prepared you for this. This doesn't affect you at all. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you trying to cast something right now? <laughs> I think the back of my neck itches a little bit. <laughs> and he reaches down, raising an arm under his cloak. And as he does, his guise begins to change. This long, trailing, uh, traveling cape he has around his body transforms into something more akin to leather armor bandoliers and wraps around him. His hand comes back with a hooked knife that he slashes out towards you. Oh, no more casting. Confusion <laughs> across his face. How about a 37 to hit? 
How about that one? Not 20, that one. I would like to try and disappear first. She's going to do it. Oh, crap. I forgot she had that. She's actually going to do it. No. Oh, not no. this time. Not this close. That would have been hilarious. That would have been She's so like, good. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> you could re-roll that. You, you, could, I, you could totally re-roll that. You wouldn't have a reaction <laughs> it's, yet. I got to let AJ do uh, Oh, I wouldn't have a reaction. Yeah. You're right. I forgot. He has one because it was actually. Sorry, I'm activity. still riding my high here. 37 <laughs> to hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That like crits a little bit. A little bit. bit. Just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit critty. A little bit critty. And you will feel... You, you see this knife uh-huh. flick out towards you. But it looks much the same as how this shopkeeper, this figure reacted to the spear. This knife effervesces across you. It doesn't cut like a blade. It slashes, rematerializing on the far side at the back end of the strike as you see a mask appear over the lower half of his face and a hood coming up over his head. But still, the pain you feel is very, very real. The critical hit, you are going to take 48 points of negative damage. Okay. It's purely negative. No physical effect whatsoever. You feel a wave of exhaustion wash over you. It's difficult to even keep your feet. Marius, before we start your turn, make me a will save. Yay. <clears throat> Gotta love that. <laughs> mm. You had to say something. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna re-roll that. Re-roll that with, uh... You sure? Yeah, I think I, I would like to re-roll that too. Oh, that's probably um, a good idea. With uh, this, uh, yeah, this hero point from Scott. Scott! Scott! Uh, <laughs> In perfect unison. I'm like, sensing I'm alone here, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more willful. Oh my god! Did you roll a one? No, it's a two again! Ooh, fix point the timeline. Gosh. You hate to see it. Uh, okay, yeah. it's 17. That is going to critically fail. Yay! <laughs> so you look around this shop. You see this figure it's transform. Green, going from this tall and welcoming, if not somewhat disconcerting, shopkeeper to a bandit, a thief, here not to run this store, to loot it. And as he whips out this knife, twirling it through nothing, you see him glance your direction as you are alone in this room with him. What What have you done with everybody? Nothing. It is your senses that fail you here. Seems like more than nothing. Um, hunt prey. And let's try... Uh... You could have hunted him before the fight started. You've been in a room with him for a bit. We'll start with my new, uh, hunting. try deadly aim now. Um, yeah. Nope. Uh, let's give him a flurry. Take a couple of shots. Oh my God. Okay, so six misses, 19 for a uh, 30. Yeah, if you don't have the yeah. 19, we have misjudged yeah. the situation and should leave. We should least. wake up. Yeah. yeah. I would, I would, please, sir, I it would like to sound leave. bad, honestly. <laughs> Four, five, uh, eight. Eight, eight, eight. Eight points of damage. Your arrow whizzes through him harmlessly, just eddying a small bit of smoke away from his shoulder. It does not do enough to overcome his resistance. All right, well, I'll try once more. Or that's a 12 for a 23. Not quite. With all of those fired MD. Did we, I see, did, oh. did, just before, I'm not doing anything, but did I see him do like any, did he like do any actions like toward the air? You would have seen him cast a spell towards where Cammy was once standing as she disappeared, yes. Uh, and then flick that knife out and look towards you. And give me a will save at the head, uh, top of your turn as well. Will save. Um, 13 on the die, so 26 total. The 26, you two look around the room and find yourself alone with this figure, though he still appears to be addressing the air where Marius once stood as if he was still there. Where's Cammy? Where is everybody else? 
now shifts to you. You come here to ask these things of me. These are I mine. They are my trinkets. I step forward and slash out of my eyes. He's talking. I have the long sword in one hand, that scimitar in the other. So I'm going to do a twin fame with the long sword first and then the scimitar second. Okie dokie. Um, long sword's D8, right? Right. Long sword is D8, yes. Um, roll a five on the die for a. Oh, and also, called foe. I get Ooh. plus two. So, um, that's a 25 total. 25 will not hit. You have no one to gang up with, so he is not flat footed. And then the second attack with the scimitar. He is flat footed. Because flat-footed. that's what Twin Faint does. <laughs> 18 on the die. Ooh. Um, with the scimitar, we have no idea what it does. Um, for a 33. 33 will certainly hit. Um, does he take precision damage? He does not. Okay, so it's a total of 8, 10 damage. Oh my gosh. I roll low. As you slash out of him as well, this blade seeming to simply pass through him, much as Marius Arrow had. Uh, from Scott, though I may be unsure how Marius went from... Three to zero. Here is a point for our ghoulish hero. Thank you. Aww. He's two. I have two. He's got two. Yeah. We got three now. Okay. Thank you, Scott. Um, but as you step forward, roll me a D20, uh, solely and MD. Just both roll me a flat check. Okay. There's like candy and MD. Five. Nineteen. As everyone disappears and you're left with just him, you see him turning clearly to address where your allies had once stood. And then you feel something bump into you from behind, nearly bowling you over. Make me a will save. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be good. <laughs> that is a 19, again. On, not on the die, like total. <laughs> <laughs> with a 19, you're not sure what magic this figure wields, but whatever happened to your friends, they are not uh, here. That was more of a woe. Shut up. Was that that was you, right? It was Twin Faints too. Yeah. Cammy, oh. the top of your turn, you can't make me another will save, though. But do it with a minus four. Okay. You're trying to shut down the nuts, warnings. <laughs> Um, so that would be a 30, but it is a 26. Okay, you can take your turn. Go ahead. Okay. Um, <laughs> scary. Uh, um, can I get, because I was thinking. Oh, yes. Um, what is your religion? Uh, 13. I'm so spoiled getting asked for my occultism all the time. Yeah, this this is definitely a spirit or a ghost of some variety. Whether this is one of the echoes to which why will I referred, you're not positive. But clearly this creature does not have a traditional physical form and is difficult to harm directly. Okay. Beyond that, though, you're not sure. So he's not like a living creature? No. Okay. The opposite, if anything. He is very much undead. Dead's unfortunate for me. Um, quick heal him. Uh, <laughs> quick heal him. <laughs> undead work. and negative energy affinity are different things. They might have that, but those are not necessarily oh, the that's same so thing. Funny. Lay, on, <laughs> lay on hands. Quick heal him. <laughs> Weaponize lay on hands. Lay his hands. <laughs> You can't do that. You can lay on hands other, like, undead. I'm laying on hands this turn, but it's not for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, you sure? Rest assured. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm very sure. Um, Cammy kind of begins to look around in a panic. Whoa, what did, you, what did you do with everybody? Whoa, what was that? What was that? And I'm going to, first action, book it as far away from this guy as possible. Where to? The far end of the room where easy it was, or are you trying to run towards the door? Um... Can I get over to the door on this turtle? You would need to either run around or over this counter that's, you know, pretty tall for you. That's rude. You could get mostly <laughs> toward, toward the door running around it. If you want to give me an acrobatics check, we can I'd see if you can get over. I'd rather just go to the corner, to be uh, honest. 
<laughs> Let's not go that. Distance. Let's not go that far. <laughs> I would like to go sit in the corner, and then I would like to calm myself down immediately, like just kind of like clutching yourself, just like oh god. Um, and I'm gonna cast lay on hands on myself. <laughs> come on, I'm come scared. On. <laughs> um, that's a lot of stuff that I'll do the math for on not my turn. Um, you just don't have to roll anything; it just happens. That's true. Twenty-four, that's true. I believe. Oh, okay, that's good. Listen, I'm scared. I don't like to. I can't. I usually just stoke the heart on my first turn, but I have to do things. Um, <laughs> and for my last action, I would like to. Not that. <laughs> Count squares? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Um, let's see. I would, you know what? I don't do this very often. Um, just kind of continuing to sort of curl up in this corner. I'm going to cast shield. And just in, uh, you see a sort of like magical force just in case around Cammy, like a little cocoon in the corner. She's like, don't touch me. Leave me alone. And as you cast that, you, you hear a pop. Above you is a similar little bubble erupts around Greeny on your head. Oh, <laughs> <Ping>. <laughs> How dare you! Uh. Hey, make me a will save. Okay, go. Uh, 27. 27. You are alone with this figure. Oh, come on. It's not a fear effect, I'd imagine. Definitely, no, yeah. very not a fear effect. Don't worry, we'll get one of those in about your turn from now. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but no, not a fear effect. Alrighty. So. He's talking as if everyone's still here. I don't see anyone. I'm going to assume this is magic tomfoolery. It's always magic tomfoolery. It seems apparent that there's something in this, but this is a dream realm you've never been to before. Was that before my turn starts or on my turn? The will's at the top of your turn. Do I have a reaction? You get resist elf resist magic. Elf magic. Get, yeah. Which you give you what? Plus one? Twenty nine. That's a plus two. Plus two? Yeah. Twenty nine. Okay. Because this is magic tomfoolery, be and I'm not turn, about yeah. that. Because if it's you before my turn, I don't get my reaction. Yes, you would realize this is definitely magic tomfoolery. And the way that he is still very clearly turning and looking to the places where your friends once stood, even though you can't see them, you can't hear them, you can't perceive them at all. They're not invisible he's simply hiding them from you you can as an action try to push that out it would be another will save then i will do another will save and attempt it okay go ahead that would be and, your and, yeah and that was your reaction for this turn yes okay so that would be my reaction that was this turn's reaction because right? you aoo just, and yes. this is this turn's just making sure i will try to focus in and see if i can't find where my allies are slightly lower. It's a 23. 23 isn't quite going to do it. You know this is a miss, but still it's hard to push through. You yeah. don't know where to focus. There is... So this is uh, a thing that I don't know that we've interacted with yet in Strange Aeons. Illusions. That is illusions. Um, once you are aware of an illusion, which you are, because with this one specifically, succeeding against the save makes you aware but does not automatically make you disbelieve the illusion. You know he is subjecting you to an illusion that's hiding your allies from you. You can attempt to disbelieve that illusion. That's just an action, a will save, trying to force yourself to see the world how it really is. And if you can find some way to interact with something, uh, something that would prove things are not how they're supposed to be, you get a bonus to that check and possibly an automatic save, which is what your flat checks were for when you bumped into each other. That's just a base, that's just how illusions work. Then I have an idea. I know my allies are here somewhere. I don't know where they are. I don't know if they've moved. I don't know what happened. I know where they were. Right. And I know that I can pop one of those gems and stride twice. Okay. He's gonna run around. He's just gonna I'm just gonna <laughs> run around the room. It's so Fair going. enough. Oh I'm going gosh. to spend two stride actions to just zigzag around the room and end up back where I am. That's so All right. good. From dude. Mr. Jake the Impaler, a hero point for Cammy. <gasps> Thank you. As Trey runs around <laughs> just trying his best to bowl <laughs> into everyone. So 
with that action, the three of you Oops, fifty feet of movement make me zigzagging. flat checks as he bolts oh, around the room, so completely good. hidden from you. Seven. Seven? Do, 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 seven. Do, 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 something is wrong. If you also got a seven, it's a jackpot. No, it's a two. Dang it. I'm going to oh. try to get a Reroll for the I'm seven, baby. What do we get? What do we get for a jackpot? I know, he's got to get a seven Spin. first. <laughs> I'm going to use this seven. rampage from Scott do we get to re-roll it. We got um, something's what? wrong. I feel something is wrong, but what's wrong? I feel on my bones. I rolled oh, a one. So close. Oh. Oh. I went from a two to a one. Um, I We have a villain point in chat from Marie Momento, but I am... Max, does anybody not fall on hero points? Me, me. I don't want. He said flip a coin for chaos. I'm going to flip a coin between you two. Call it. Heads. heads. You can't both call heads. <laughs> you call it. <laughs> you heads. Call. Heads? Yeah. Heads to you. All right. Flip the hero point token. Tails. Woo! Woo! Merry Christmas, Trey. Marie Memento. Coin has been flipped. The chaos has been passed. Do I also get a flat check? You just get a will save. Oh, cool. Because you are already aware there is an illusion. So you are, as you bump into people, you Slightly know what worse this again. is. You get the DC is lower because you have 21. 21 is too low, though. Well, hold on. Uh, fluid <laughs> motion. Uh, nothing will stand in my way. I will just put this down as a reroll for that 10 because I know the 12 failed. Fair enough. So <laughs> I'll just reroll. Yeah, it is a much lower DC because you have support now to disbelieve. You you know there's you're running and you can feel it. It's another twelve, so twenty three. Mm. Oh, it's 20. so close. Three. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the number. Twenty three doesn't do it. Yep. Ah. That's fine. But you so, got you end up back by the door. First action, try and disbelieve. Second action, or use my action. magic item for two strides to end up back here. Third action. New class feet. He just watches you run across the room, like almost a disbelief. <laughs> we, all see, we all see this man just, he's just like a cat chasing yeah, a ghost. Just, yeah, the cat sees a ghost. And he's looking around. You like, don't have to do this if you don't want to. Uh, <laughs> so just third like action, dual-handed assault. Because I'm an open hand build, I can use dual-handed assault, which lets me, for one attack, upgrade my weapon damage dice and strike. Okay. And it does not break any open hand, like, stances, feats, or anything else. It's just for one quick action. Big whappity. But it is a flourish. I can only use it once. Well, good thing it's your last action. turn. Yeah. All right. 36. He is is the dance of the one-offs, man. 36 will hit. (laughs) Your entire turn has been one-off of so many things. (laughs) (laughs) But I get to use D8s for this. You do. Yeah. You got a good good swing. So uh, that'll be 18 damage. All right, solid. I assume he takes eight. You will. Yeah, resist an amount of that, which you could probably divine pretty accurately at this point, but takes a chunk of it for sure. As it comes back around to him, as he watches you just sprint across the I'm room. I'm the cat with the zoomies. Back and forth. <laughs> you, you come here to this place to take what is rightfully mine. I found this. Everything here is mine. Within these walls, mine for the taking. I claimed it! And raises both hands up above his head to cast something, which you don't have a reaction because mm-hmm. you used it Resist elf not you, no, l- learning there's an illusion. <laughs> Frigus Pyramidum! And you see okay. ice well up in his hands before he throws it out in a wave through the entire room. Each of you seeing him throw this blast of ice across the shop in your direction. And it does catch all of you with where you're currently standing. Reflex saves, please. I will be re-rolling that. something, hit the floor, whatever it is you're going to I'm do. I'm right in front of him. As soon as I see this spell being cast, I drop to the ground. Hey, I'm I got a better. Re-roll. I went from a two to a three. With a, <laughs> with a hero point from Scott. Scott! Scott. Scott. <laughs> the reserves, Scott. Scott. The concerns, Please. Scott. I forgot that I'm fatigued, so I get minus one to all of these. I got a 30 total. 30 is a regular success. Critical success. Critical success. Or uh, Rogue Man doing Rogue Man stuff. 27. 27 is a regular failure. I got a 15. Ooh, all right. <laughs> I would like to thank Scott. Scott! <laughs> Scott! Scott! Um, for dive out of dam- da- danger, play before you attempt a reflex save. That's the thing you're doing! That's the thing I'm doing! Um, uh, you succeed at the saving throw without needing to roll, which is 
Uh, you gain clumsy one condition, but lasts until the next time you get a full night's rest. Technically, I am sleeping, <laughs> but we could talk about that later. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm currently... failure, success, critical. We got the whole spectrum: failure, yeah. critical success, critical failure, regular success. Yeah. We have to see Yay. what everything does. Damage. Uh, probably lots of damage. Yay. Yay. I would imagine slowed because it's a nice spell. Fifteen. Sixty-two. Oh, that's fine. Thirty-one. Zero. Zero. Yay. Cold. Cold damage. How cold? Pure cold damage. About approximately fifteen points of damage. How cold. cold. Negative yeah. thirty-two. Thirty-one. Oh, he, he got gosh. 62 because yeah. that double, Nervous. this tray just absolutely eats it. Ah, <laughs> it's a good time to hydrate while well, we're all, you know, oh, hey. chilling. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Pink. Yeah. I can think. I can think like this. Just a little reminder. And he continues onward, his hands clenching, his fingers curling almost into, a, into claws. I watch this place. I waited. I saw who came, who went, what came, what goods were forgotten here. They are mine! And this is as much the anger that the words would imply as they are despaired. You feel that this... This is almost a... Well, perhaps eternity for this figure. This is all he is now, trapped in this moment, trapped in this act that he cannot leave. And it hits all of you with an overwhelming wave of emotion. I need a will save from everyone. This is a fear effect. Yeah. So you can get your fear I get powers. My plus I wanna try and one. Just, oh. And okay. Scott, you love my support, so here's a bit more. This is for MD, who drops to the floor. A hero oh. point. Ah. 31. Oh. You're good. Will I take damage from this? No. Okay, then. I'll just roll. Uh, that's a 30. You're good. Um, 17 on the die for minus one. 29. You're good. 31. You're What the hell? Okay, everyone <laughs> passes. All right. Scott, Scott sent me oh, a message saying sad. stay in the fight. <laughs> that's literally everyone made that one. Marius, we come back to you a little colder now. Did um, did anything happen with the the tray running around and bopping everybody? Um, you you did make it did make your flat check, so no, you kind of felt like maybe so a I, little I bump actually... of the wind or something. No, you don't. Oh, get there's anything. more ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> the room full of ghosts. What are you doing? Um, so uh, yeah, uh, let's do deadly mm -hmm. aim. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's a uh, 15 plus 17. It's uh, what? 32. 32? Yeah. 32 hits. Okay. You did it. We got the deadly aim in there. 10, 13, 17. Ooh, okay. You did it. In there on the board. A good hit. Right. Two for. 15 and an 18. Woo! Uh, let's get it going. Trey from Darmassin in yeah. the chat. Hero point. I'll immediately use it. Don't worry. It's what he does. It's the way of his people. So 29 Hits. and 30. Hits. Yeah. Woo! And those get combined oh, hey. before he gets his damage reduction. I got run and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I got a reroll. He who. And uh, 6, 17 again. 17 again. All right. You're getting in there. One more. That's gonna miss with a nine for the yeah, But two 19, decent hits on the front end of that, uh, as Marius just lets loose MD. You sound a little angry there, buddy. Um I'm gonna twin paint again. <laughs> a loss. That's just not a tray taking sixty two damage from a cone of cold. <laughs> Look it's Dude, taking 62 and looking pretty fine. Uh, yeah, how are you guys? We are, we are Chads now. Oh, um, I forgot relate. to mention it earlier. Um, thank you, Handsome Ganker, for the called Poe. And it stays up until the end of this turn. So Ooh, we get, yeah, right, on. that's on your next turn. Yeah. yeah, you get a whole other turn of calling it's the foe. Until it's, a crit or next turn, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good one. Guess who hasn't crit yet. Um, so <laughs> You got a blessed Anna Bane, right? 
Yeah, I have a plus and a bane. You rolled a one of the flat check, but like, come on, roll a one or a 20. Give us the fun thing. So longsword first and scimitar with the twin fane. Um, I rolled a one. Woo! <laughs> We knew Re -roll that. Re-roll it. Oh, <laughs> it happened immediately. I'll take it. We'll, we'll go ahead and use it. We got this We got this Bane from a Sane 221, by the way. See, we just got to remember it's there, and then it comes out immediately. Um, All right. What are the, what's the what's the option? Broken. It's melee. Broken haft. Your weapon's current hit points are reduced to its broken threshold. Ooh, you swing this sword, perhaps reactively, as you duck down to the ground. Even knowing it's a specter, instinctively expecting resistance, and as it f flies through him, slamming into the corner between the counter and the tile floor of the store, shifting the blade, unseating it from the half with the pure orcish ferocity that you swing it with, and it is currently unusable. And derp slash trade, need more than just one hero point. Type. I'll find a way to 13, use it. 1337. There you go. Remembering weapons have hit points. I don't think we've dealt with that at all. It doesn't come up very often in the second edition, that. which is, you know, good. Trust me. That's a positive. Oh, uh, don't don't you worry. Later on, I'm going to find a way. Um, Well, it's still a weapon that's still on my hand, and doubling rings is still doing doubling rings. Yep, and he's still flat footed because it's the second swing. Yep, so Scimitar. Uh -huh. This one, I am going to actually use this from Scott immediately because. I like rolling above a five. That's usually good, yeah. Um, as I go to swing, evaluate how hard I swing and readjust what I'm doing. Um, for a natural 20. The other one! Woo! <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> He's the one that's the bait yes! in one turn! <laughs> um, this is slashing damage. Target is fatigued. Sapping slash. Okay, that lowers his AC. That's probably really good for you guys right now. You're kind of struggling to hit him a we little bit. We are struggling to hit him. I rolled really poorly, too, for damage. Um, eight. But it crits. It does crit. So, so 22. it's 22 points of damage. And as you bring this scimitar down, a really decisive strike here, you feel something shift in it unfold your thing once also i like to thank Get scott for that bless. one more step of knowledge i have to find my fatigue card plus two greater striking sharpness never dulls and strikes true plus two greater strike i actually seen better handwriting from doctors by the way <laughs> i'm hey. exciting Unnecessary. Cool. Just like so you have, I believe, a another die bite. of damage on there, actually. Another die Because it's greater striking. Greater striking. That's a four extra damage. 26? 26. He's going to take almost all of that. Big hits are, are good. Let's see. I'm mathing. All right. Solid. It's almost like half as much damage as he's taken so far. Totally uh, passes damage resistance there. You can't hit him with precision, but you can hit him with crits. What's forceful trait again? Forceful is every additional a, attack, additional attack that... does one damage per damage die, so it would be three extra damage. Yeah, with that weapon. Okay. Yes, so with that with... weapon. I have one extra action. Go for it. Another twenty. <laughs> oh come on! Oh, he's feeling it. Come on! All right. Um, As you swing this scimitar again, emboldened, feeling the power coursing through this thing. You swing, you bring it back, and you bring it up overhead. You haven't swung a scimitar around before. Not that you remember, anyway. You kind of naturally go for that big ol' choppy, picky swing. And you see a pick slam into the tile where, you, where it lands. That is a crit with a pick. That and you can unfold that one more time. What a turn. Oh my gosh. Scimitar can we really are speed it into <laughs> other shapes. It's a shifting, it's a shifting scimitar. Oh, that's a crit with a pick? That's a crit with a pick, baby. Oh, I put all the details over here because I didn't think I was going to use them. Well, welcome back, buddy. <laughs> welcome so you back. get three D10 of plus, bonk. And then plus one more. Plus an extra. I see All right, at least that's one 10, 10, 20, Ooh! 21, um, 27, 
Then one extra bonk. 54. This is the better kind of snake 54 eyes. Plus 54 a plus a d10. Another five. 59, 59. plus another um, pick. Another six. Oh my gosh. 65 damage. That's it, insane. That's what happened? Crits. Yes! It, it, <laughs> that went from he has 18 damage on him to dead in oh one my rogue gosh. turn. Oh my gosh. Not even with sneak attack. Um, and he's immune to precision damage. Like, you didn't even get half your damage. Um, MD kind of is frustrated. Um, so he's swinging as hard as he can because he wants to fight the end because he wants to know that Cammy and Trey and Marius and Easy are safe. And it's just blind. And when it comes back, he's like, I didn't have a pick. <laughs> I wish I could stay, but I must go work. I know the party will kill this illusionist jerk. MD <laughs> is the mighty fighter today. So here is another without any delay. Oh. Good, sir. He didn't even need it. He smashed that, for later. that man and as that pick comes down all of you man. see the figure of this well bandit this thief cleaved in half it's like cutting through fog as the two halves of him whirl and eddy away into a faint smoke that dissipates within seconds still leaving each of you alone in the shop I'm going to oh. use resist elf magic on my next save. MD. I Cammy. would say that's a 12. Oh. So. Trey having already realized there's an illusion at hand. Here, I got a 25. Is quick to fight his way out of it without the presence of the shopkeeper. You see your allies. You see each of them looking around alone. You hear them calling out. None of you can see or hear each other, including Trey. But Trey can see and hear all of you. Well, then I'm going to walk over to MD. And from a slight safe distance, just pat his arm. <laughs> With a stick? No, no, like, I'm I'm patting his arm. What are you two, Dash? Uh, I was. I'd probably I can't start believe walking. I scared him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I think I'd be like slowly walking around toward where the illusionist was, like just kind of going clockwise. Uh, um, I don't think I'd be that smart. I don't. I, <laughs> uh, I think Cammy's kind of in the corner, just shocked, congratulating herself, kind of giving, <laughs> giving, uh, giving Greeny a little high five. Uh, <laughs> And then kind of starting to be like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we did that. I don't even know how. Oh my gosh. Um, where did where'd everybody go? I'd definitely be I guess I'll go out in the hall. <laughs> As you pat MD on the on, on the arm, you see Cammy high five her lizard and leave. As Marius <laughs> comes around the outside of the room. And in a few moments, you're able to help MD get out of his illusion as well. You feel Trey, you you kind of shake your head it's it's almost like you're hallucinating for a moment like it doesn't seem real but then you realize it is that is Trey standing there and Marius looking like he's blindly almost making his way around the outside of the room as <laughs> the curtain separating this room from the hall just kind of flutters <laughs> Cammy nowhere to be Cammy seen go that way yeah go get her I'll I deal go, with him go I go catch up with Cammy just, just wandering the whole guys. I just pick her up. I Marius. hit him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's just, not! He's just walking back in the room like this. <laughs> like a kid. Throwing a tantrum. Oh, you take me <laughs> I'm biting. Make me I'm a gonna... will save. <laughs> I'll make you roll it. Not 20. <laughs> Literally scared out of the illusion. The oh metal is gosh. screaming. You look down and you see MD's hands and him holding you and you look up and you see Trey and Marius. Trey seems like he's trying to get Marius' attention. <laughs> Marius, you said you're looking around the room. Make yeah. me a perception check. A perception. You're good at these. Uh, yeah, I'm really great. It's a 21. Cool. You rolled a four. 
Trey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just going to go up to him because he's he's holding a bow. I'm not worried about accidentally eating a scimitar. That's fair. So I'm just going to go up and just hands on his shoulders and shake him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the four of you are all brought back together, overcoming this thief's illusions. Snap back back three, once four. more in the shop. And so be carrying scary. Cammy back inside the store. <laughs> <It's> so scary. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine how horrifying that would yes. be. You just start <laughs> levitating. You just start leaving the crap. <laughs> Dream world. Anything can happen. You could lose your friends. Including so, spectral um, thieves. Where is Easy? Oh. Do you think he got scared and just woke himself up? That's possible. I never ran into him. Sounds like it's on brand for Easy, honestly. This wouldn't be a. Uh... The first time he's uh, snuck off to go hang out with you know who. <laughs> so um... I got through the illusion fairly quickly, and I never caught sight of him. So I assume he's awake. I have, yeah, I have a feeling if he just went invisible, he probably would be back by now, right? We would hear the crying. You can all see now that you're <laughs> here. A puddle of tears. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're here together, you can see uh, a little bit of. Almost looks like frostbite around the edge of Marius's features, and Trey I'm looks cold. like he exploded. Uh, it's like My it's, armor is frosty. It's <laughs> literally iced I look over. Perfectly fine. And his, <laughs> his face absolutely red and black, and almost like it's coming burned. out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The icicle snot coming like down. I was hoping to get an icy here, but this is not what I. Meant. It is strangely cool. In the caravan, Sarai, I given the why. <laughs> blistering heat outside, even before the spell, given the blistering heat outside, it is very comfortable inside the walls. But Trey looks like he's walking around Antarctica and looks much the worse for it. Let me guess. Ice Blast got you good? Yeah. Everything he was doing was affecting all of us. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't mind getting healed and tended to, but. For now, it's not an emergency. I think I mean, we could take a second. I think we need to take a second. We don't know what is in here. Fair and enough. That, you left. So you lost sight of MD with him wielding a long sword and a scimitar, and come back to find his long sword, the blades eh, clearly pretty broken, and his scimitar replaced with a pick, but not his normal pick. It is a much heavier pick that looks worn, dusty, forgotten, just like the scimitar before it had been, but its head fully intact. Uh, broke this, the long sword. Eh, doesn't matter. Got a cool new pick. It's a big You got pick. something else you'd rather use. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna kind of recall picks. the fight. Yeah, right. <laughs> recall the fight and will the thing into a different shape. Okay. What do you focus on? Say... A gun. <laughs> a gun. <laughs> um, a long sword. So you think about looking down at the long sword that you had, you all watch the head of this pick fold into the handle and extend as the haft shortens, widens around his hand, making a cross guard, forming not an identical longsword, but a similar one made of the same old forgotten, still somewhat dusty steel. Huh. Neat. Kind of like chameleon blade. <gasps> I think we have a brand. Let's look at Greeny. You're the coolest one here. He knows. <laughs> yeah, he knows. <laughs> All right then. Well, if you're sitting down to Feel heal great. for a minute with your lay on hansery, uh, you're pretty hurt. It'd probably only, but it only take like probably take 20, yeah, 20, 30 minutes then uh, to. Focus. Yeah, 30 minutes to get your focus points back and to heal Trey up. Someone would need to help Marius unless you are going to... His form is different. Are you going to... He does uh, still look like a lot of the features he has are still kind of a hallmark of a of Listen, a it's up to you, man. I I'm can not try sure and... I want to risk that. I, I feel like... Uh, oh, it's understandable. It, I... Yeah, I, I, I can survive, I think, for a little bit. You can also still use a traditional medicine check if someone wants to treat him normally. Just remember, if you get scared for your life, wake up. Mm. While you're here, you two are working together. What are you two doing? High five in the corner. Yeah. 
Oh wait, wait. Can you can you hold up hold up your sword? See if it can make it to turn into a bow too. Um. Oh. Yeah. And you hold it up and you think about it, and the blade flattens out, extends, curves. You have a longbow in your hands. Fancy. All right. That's my gimmick. <laughs> That's his gimmick. <laughs> Could we spend enough time to heal everybody up? Or? Uh, yeah, if you want to spend another, like, let's say 40, then yeah. you could heal yourself as well. MD's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, and That's the first yeah, combat we ever had where I didn't take we damage. Top, top everybody off yeah, if, give we're, it, if we're stopping. Yeah, give it, give it like 45 minutes. You might as well top off the party and get your focus points back. Yeah. Uh, during that... Be regular medicine then, so yeah, you can cool. give me a regular... Whoever wants to treat you or you yourself can give me a normal medicine check to treat you because you do have a bit of a problem with the normal healing. Yeah. I'll, so I'll try. It's not good for you. It don't feel nice. Okay, 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 okay. There's a 29. Yeah, what are you, trained, expert? The uh, Trained. Sick. You get 4d8 healing. 4d8. Not 48. 4d8, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Many d8s. That'd be so nice. <laughs> While you're looking around, you have enough time in this shop that I assume not wanting to go further into the caravanserai, not wanting to see what other strange things might lurk in here, you really got nothing to do but poke around it was a place that clearly was once quite well stocked there are a lot of shelves around the outside there is this uh, counter in the middle almost all of it just bereft of anything you you find dust you find rags you find grime but sometime in this you're here long enough i'm not going to make it a perception check just because you're here for the better part of an hour and quite literally have nothing better to do and they're not that hard to find you would turn up that there is something underneath a pile of rags inside the counter. You poke it, realize it's solid, move it aside, and tumbling forth would be five huge emeralds. Like the size of a whole human thumb come tumbling out, as well as a little silver cube not much bigger than this D6 in my hand. I guess while we're here, I can look over them with crafting. You sure can. Look over... The gems. The gems? I don't know. Well, actually, I could look over that too. (laughs) The gems are worth... Those are going to be a lot. These are massive. Every single one of these gems would be worth hundreds of gold. Easily. No check necessary for mm. that. These are huge. Visibly, they sure look like if they're not pure, they're close. Mm-hmm. Near flawless emeralds that have just been left here. They are fairly raw. They're not cut like gemstones. They're just big chunks of emerald. But it would also be obvious that strange little cube has a very powerful magic. Can I take a look, see? You sure can. So I had a secondary thought that I don't know why didn't uh, occur to me immediately the first time, which is, while you definitely can't make the check to identify these, you can make the check anyway, and if you roll high enough, you might start at stage one instead of zero of trying to figure it out. Um, Why don't you roll it? Because I, I think this is powerful enough that you're fairly confident that like you're not you're not gonna put a ton of stake in whatever it is you learn. So yeah. I don't not really worry about critical failure here. All of us can just pass it says. around and roll it. What's I mean, a, this is very solidly. I don't have a clue. Territory. <laughs> um, it would be yeah. You could have cultism this. Okay. Let's just identify it. Okay, that's an 18 on the die. My modifier is an 18, so that's gonna be a 36. 36. 36. Holy crap, you can identify... Wow, you, act, you <laughs> straight up identify it. Wow. Dream Just un- unroll it. You, I love you, Dream World. <laughs> you made the actual DZ. Okay. Oh, my God. Witches, they're smart. I Don't mind me. It? I'm just identifying a 15th level item. Oh my it's God. fine. Like it's like, I could just open it. You can just open it. You identified it. Like You're good. Dream I feel like I'm just along for the I'm never going back. Cammy's just doing <laughs> everything. Um, I can press it. Each other, it's a fidget cube. That yeah. is a cube of force. Oh. You can press down any one of the faces to project a shield, a shielded cube around you, 10 feet across. That depending on which face you press, does different things. It can be anything from 
spell and missile retardant to just a straight up wall of force cube Great. to something that just keeps out gas and wind. And then there is the face on the bottom can be clicked at any time to dismiss it. Huh. Yeah, you hold on to that one. Oh my gosh. I can make rooms. <laughs> you can make a tiny house. The cami cube. Oh. You can make the cami cube. The cami cube. <laughs> You just press a button when somebody starts approaching you and thinks they're going to get you, <laughs> nope. and they just run into a wall. I, I you have an 18 and you're cold to the holy yeah, crap. Dude. Okay, She's yeah, I guess you could just straight up modify that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh master God. proficiency. She is the smartest one in the party. We're two episodes in, and both of them have been AJ saying a thing and Cammy replying, bet. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of book three so far. Yeah, that's sort of what's happening. Oh, right, well, there you go. It's fully identified. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. There you go. Well, you have five massive emeralds and a cube of force that I cannot just just identify. You just know what it is. You just regular identified it. There I you go. I got a keychain. I got a souvenir. <laughs> yeah. Sick. It's a great tour stop. But with that, that seems to be it for this shop. You're patched up. You're as good as you can be. And you are like one room in this caravanserai so far. I guess we'll just start heading around, seeing what we can find. Yeah. I mean, the first room was very lucrative. I'm sure the next room will be just You nice. have so far found some incredible things in here between this weapon that MD is wielding and this cube, which is beyond powerful. This, again, would be like nothing you've ever seen. The aura of this you're able to assess, but is still crazy. The hallway down the western wing of the caravanserai proceeds past three more of these dry basins, these fountains that surely once held water for visitors and travelers alike, before it ends in a room in the far corner, one that looks from the outside much the same as the shop had. There's a curtain hanging there directly in front of you that separates this passageway from whatever chamber is set here in the southwest. Or there is a hallway where you could easily enough walk around it. Just curious, are the the fountains like, just like empty bowls? or is Yes. There, okay. there is no ornate fountainry in the center of them. They are more or less basins that are about three feet high that do have a like, drain and, and a visible pipe coming up into that in their center. I mean, can you look down and see if there's anything hidden in the pipe? Kind of uh, if, glancing downward. Remind me what we're all doing with our exploration activities, because that okay. sounds like you want to be seeking. Yeah. That's I'm usually doing... changing things up and seeking. That's yeah. fair. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Bet you're fatigued. I'm tired. Brain I am. Yes. Trying to stay awake while you stay asleep. Yes, I am. Ready to punch somebody and using your big old brain. My noggin. She fair got big enough. Brain. Noggin's it. pretty good. It's a good It's noggin. a 15th level brain. The 15th level brain. It's so juicy. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> now it's very Didn't smooth. Like that sentence, so that's okay. <laughs> it's moist. Yeah, my ju juicy brain. Juicy brain. You would peek in each of these as you walk by. Uh, each of these hallways here, even though there are no windows, fully encased in this desert stone, the hallways are illuminated softly, as if lanterns were born down their length. All of the rooms in these simply visible. No source, no particular reason that you can determine, they simply are. And that allows you to look into the center of a couple of these basins and see this drain as a pipe that leads somewhere, probably. I mean, where you know, plumbing exists, I know the Galarian tech level is often questionable. We have everything from we're still fighting with swords, but also we have, you know, mecha bots and iron gods is a campaign they made. But there is plumbing pretty commonly, and these look like they were once attached to... Uh, perhaps a central system or a large underground well of some kind. They look like they would have mostly stayed full without a whole lot of intervention from the works that are coming up into their center. To be fair, in the grand scale of things, the fact that there are people out there who can one-shot the mechs with a long sword. Yeah. That's the yeah. swords are not obsolete. That's fair. Yeah. Well, if you give a long sword, if you give literally any weapon to the barbarians, then... You know, they're going to be fine. Numeria is a place that there is. Anyway, you are here. You could, you have this curtain or you have a passageway that looks like it leads around just like it did the shop before. I like the curtain. The okay, last curtain nice. gave us a lot of money. Got a lot of money. It did it hurt. Weird cube. It was but, scary. It was but now we have scary. the cube in case it hurts. Yes. 
you can look inside the room. You can look through the curtain without having to head inside to see a room not much larger than the shop, but well, probably almost certainly smaller, squarer, about 20 feet across, mostly dominated Wait, by- did you just say not much larger, but certainly smaller? I was saying not much larger than I corrected myself okay. smaller, actually. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought the other room was narrower it was than it was. But no, it was 20 by 20. It's dream <laughs> I was about to say it's a dream room. It looked bigger, but then it's actually smaller. The dimensions are only in mostly, your imagination. It's the reverse TARDIS. Mostly filled with three smaller. elegant <laughs> wooden tables surrounded by a large amount of stools of all kinds of sizes. Some smaller than what will be comfortable for Cammy. Some so large that near your whole party could sit in them together and have plenty of space. All lacquered in a deep, rich black. There are a few plates and a pitcher stacked on a sideboard right next to the table as you come in. The plates, the tables, the stools, the floor, all is dusty and forgotten as the rest of the caravans ride. But the pitcher, a shining, vibrant silver, not a single speck of grime across its surface. Make me a perception check here, seeker man. It's a 19. Plus uh, 17 for 30. I thought you were hitting with a cam. You're like a 19. <laughs> That's it. Like it's <laughs> just, just 19. With a 36, you would hear voices in this room. It would be the sounds of conversations. It would sound like dozens of hushed whispers communicating very quietly just barely audible even if you were to point that out to the rest of the party you could barely make it out if you could at all you guys hear those voices whispering nothing in particular do mm. i sense the presence of spirits your ring would absolutely be glowing uh, Which it would have been in the shop too, but I mean, you kind of saw him with your eyes, so you didn't really need it yeah. on that one. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, wasn't that was pretty obvious. Yeah. So. Uh, I, I don't hear, and well, I I mean, it's glowing. There's ghosts among us. Spirits. I mean, it just kind of sounds like a, a dining hall. What? It's, it's kind of weird we could see the one guy, but I can't see anybody in here. Let's the more look around. You focus, the more strange. you pick up, you can't make out any words from these whispers, but they are secretive, almost conspiratorial. You feel like they're plotting against you, against each other. You can't tell. I don't like it. It feels like a middle school in here. <laughs> oh, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I hated middle school. <laughs> well, Trey heads into poke around. Yeah, I'm, just going, I'm li quite literally just going to go around and mess with things and see what I'm happens. Poking stuff, <laughs> shake the ghosts out of it. Um, I'm gonna Luigi's go mansion. check out that <laughs> picture. Okay, you get over towards the picture. I'll probably follow closely. I definitely feel a little off, like, kind of, now having known the illusion of my, the rest of my party being around, but, you know, so we can still feel each other. Now I'm just like, I, I feel like there's more people around me, <laughs> so on edge. Can I try and, so the ring says that I can, so I can sense the spirit. Can I try and like tune into what he's hearing now that I know that it's here? With, with your ring, with that maybe a perception check. We have okay. a much lower DC for you, but it is so hard to hear that him being pointed yeah. out, you can't necessarily make it out. That's a nat one. Yeah, no. You Not this tell. one. <laughs> <laughs> can no you smell me. the ghost? The ghost now, ghost. come on, we're in a banquet hall. It smells like <laughs> dust and heat. That's what ghosts smell like. It As you all <laughs> come into the room, you're trying to perceive this. You do. You don't just start to hear it, you start to see something. So does everybody. Figures start to manifest around the chamber. Not just one or two, but dozens. Shifting, overlapping, interlacing with each other in a variety of scenes taking place over an unknown amount of time. You see a night hag 
curled horns perched on the sides of her head around elaborately curled hair. Jewelry adorned all down her body as she makes demands to a trio of human servants. You see three rather surly, human-looking figures with coats and turbans pouring over what appears to be a map of the moon. A group of hooded, ghoulish figures with features much like Marius's. All together on a table examining what appears to be a sculpted clay human head on the table. You see a man. Cloak, a fur hat, round black spectacles, and a huge beard with gray streaked through it. Standing, his arms crossed in the corner as he listens to Wyrilai, gesturing, explaining something not just to him, but to four other figures. An orc, a hobgoblin, a gnome, and a man standing there, all listening as she speaks. You can't make out a single word of any of these conversations. There are so many overlapping in a completely unintelligible cacophony that grows in moments to be overwhelming, to be piercing, to be confusing, distorting, to the point where you start to lose yourselves in these conversations, to lose track of where you even are, who you are, or who's in the room with you. Everybody make me a will save. Oh, is it magic? This is magic. And you, with your exploration activity, you can resist though. It's not elf magic, but it works. Yeah. All magic Let's is elf magic here, according so to Hobgoblin. 21. Great. I rolled natural 20 for a total of a 32. Uh, unsarcastically great. <laughs> 17 for a 30. Doesn't happen to be an effect that I'll take damage from, does it? No, no. Okay, you well, got, it's you a... Got, you got three boys. It's okay. It's a 25. That's fair. A 25. Your bones explode. Bones As this explode. <laughs> all starts to become overwhelming, Trey and MD, you're able to focus on something. You, what, do you, what do you do in response to this? How are you staying grounded? I saw a similar thing happen in the other room. Everyone just kind of disappeared. It's the other way. Instead of getting lost in the noise, <laughs> <Opposite>. <laughs> they were lost in the nothing. So now I'm trying to focus on the nothing so that they don't get lost in the noise for me. I'm keeping focus on at least Cammy, so I don't lose her in all of this. As you watch Cammy kind of swaying, Cammy and Marius, this room becomes crowded with spirits. They are around you. They are pressing. They are cloying. You have no space. You have no room even to breathe. You struggled somewhat to fight one of these, but with a room completely packed wall to wall, shoulder to shoulder with more of these echoes, you flash out. When we come back from our break, we're going to roll initiative, and there is nobody else on the table. Hooray. <laughs> this could have been very bad if we hadn't passed our saves. <laughs> We're going to stand up. Because you're flat-footed. You're stretch confused. our legs. Take our midstream break here. It's going to be about 10 minutes. You could use that time if you don't got to use the bathroom or nothing to check out a couple of, oh, no, our cool sponsors if you want to. We've got some nice dudes. All these maps we have here we make through Ark and Forge which is a fantastic platform for the thing that we do, which is a hybrid setup here. Also, just a really great resource to make virtual maps yourself if you're having a hard time finding decent ones online, because I know that's hard. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> we got Norse Foundry. They provide all of our dice. Eldridge Foundry for all of our fancy little minis. We're going to get table cam back so we can put these guys up more often, because they're, they're really cool little fellas here. Look at these little trays. You got, you got, you got hands. 
You gotta punch people when you go to home. I don't do that no more. You don't do that no more. I've never I punched anymore. anybody. I hit them with the tray. But there wasn't really there was a, a medical tray. It was surprisingly not really an option you could put in the hands. He didn't have no idea what his weapon yeah. was gonna <laughs> be. So we just went with scrapping for that one. Discount code UGT show on pretty much all these platforms. We'll be back before too long. So don't go too far. Welcome back, everybody. As we left off, we had entered a feasting hall full of echoes of the past, of spirits, of dreamers that had been here before. And some of us were overwhelmed by their presence. Before we go any further, let's reintroduce everyone. Let's start over here. In the center of the ring. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Marius Grayfall, the ghoul dwarf ranger. I'm freaking out and I'm gonna punch people. Um, I don't punch people up. MD, the full-blooded orc rogue, who is not freaking out and who will probably not punch people. Howdy, I'm Dirk and I play Trey Huglin, the hobgoblin who isn't currently having a panic attack. Um, how about you, Cammy? My name is Sully and I play Cammy. I know only punch. <laughs> <laughs> Probably tell who failed their saves based on our introductions here. But before we get going, why doesn't everyone give me an initiative check? Yeah. There are no enemies in this room except for each other. <laughs> so <laughs> our biggest enemies ourselves. <laughs> greatest foe, myself. Cammy, what do you got? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Marius, what do you got? A little thirty. Ooh, twenty-five and thirty oh. are your antagonists here. MD twenty. Oh, that's cocked. Twenty and Trey. I'm re-rolling and it was cocked. Uh, it's an eleven. It went up from an eight, so Thank that you. will be a twenty-six. Alternating. Look at this. Thank We're you, alternating. Hero. Marius, overwhelmed by what is happening here. Let me get my little mini figures for the map real quick. Like boink. Link. Link. You're the one nearest the entrance of the room. There are two curtains here. One where you came in and one leading further out to the east. They both seem so far away with dozens of these churning images around you and these voices overlapping, boring into your head. You are losing it. Make me a flat check. Flat <laughs> Nice flat two. For the two. <laughs> it's good, right? It's really good. Maybe. Um, We're doing golf rules, right? Lower is better. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible he rolled that. It's, it's how much panic I'm having. <laughs> Roll me damage. Oh my god. For deadly aim. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's not fun no more. <laughs> He's about to shoot Just himself damage. in the foot. Just damage. With your bow. Okay, bow damage. Yeah. Uh, that's an 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 4 is uh, the 12, 15. You take 15 points of damage. Ouch. Shot himself As in the foot. As those of you that can see Marius stressing, Ouch. freaking out, draws back his bow and does in fact loose an arrow directly into his own leg Wait, in a panic. Have him roll to see if it's a crit so he pins himself Roll me another flat check. <laughs> roll the one with the crit. 10. Before turning wildly, loosing an arrow towards MD. Give me a normal attack roll. Three. We're so good at being the bad guy. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> I think I have a pretty good idea of what's happening here. I'm going to shove him out of the room. Fair enough. Make me an athletics check because he is going to resist. This is against your fortitude, That's DC, Marius. That's, That's like sitting straight up yeah. against the side. I concur. Not 20. He's out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I jump it, over the table you, and just kick him and just it right out. Him, throw him through the curtain into the hallway beyond, bowling through the image of what appears to be a half-elven man with a cap and a big green jacket <laughs> right out the door into the hallway. You have two actions left. It's suitably easy because all I wanted to do was to get out of the room anyway. 
I'm gonna grab Cammy. Okay. You will try. <laughs> Athletics. <laughs> okay. Who? Or, plus, no, I roll it. Okay, good. What's your fort plus ten? I yeah, want to tell you. <laughs> I will re-roll that two <laughs> with run and shoot. You know, yeah, you can't let Cammy overpower you. She's the muscle. This is your moment to, to dominate. Leave me alone. To display you. No. Money. No. You're pinned. This is, that's, I, that's I a, want a reaction. That's just a <laughs> funny table. You no. grab the child. I'm biting. With a natural 20. Can I leave the room? Completely pinning her arms to her side. Ah. I will let you do a second athletics check with the minus 10 map to try and drag her out of the room because you have her completely pinned. Throw her like a football. That's a seven. You try. She's biting. Yeah. She is playing. I'm latching on, on, baby. To hold on to she a toddler. is pinned. All you can do right now is try to wiggle away from Vampiric the Vampiric touch! You can't, <laughs> you can't, you can't do that right now. Okay, you are, come you on! Can't, you can't move. You can't, the you're only not just action. grabbed. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only action you can take is try and break out. Okay, yeah, I'll do you're that. You're not just grabbed, you're pinned. Okay. You can try to escape with either athletics, acrobatics, or an unarmed strike. Literally is unarmed. Greeny pinned? <laughs> No! Greeny! You're pretty. <laughs> Greeny is not pinned! Okay! Wait, does Greeny get his own save? Well, you can't. They're two different figures. I'd like to see you like, try and grab onto that wiggly boy. Me. Lick him on the eye. Romeo will save for Greeny. Same save as you. Okay. Yeah, I want to see if Greeny is. We'll see what Greeny is Greeny. Um, it's an 18 on the die, so <laughs> that's going to be a 33. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greeny's fine! <laughs> Greeny looks at you. And like looks down at Cammy, Cammy, what are you doing? I'm gonna tell him to swing. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna tongue me. <laughs> um, I'm going to spend an action to give him. Uh, did you did you spend action to give him two? I'm I'm gonna spell delivery. I'm gonna have him vampiric touch. <laughs> and he's gonna like feel this. I don't this. think you can. Feel this can like, I not? Because it requires that you. I. Give him the spell. You have to cast. Do you have it to cast him. vampiric touch and then put an action? Oh, put it in him? Yeah, I cast you can't it for cast him. It first. So you well, he's to non on you then. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he can't? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm We're mad. digging. Okay. We're digging. Okay. No, everybody, <laughs> shut up. Everybody, shut up. I've never seen him want to attack the party so bad. <laughs> I'm so ready, dude. Try. We got a hero point for you <laughs> from Corpa K's love. Sorry if I, I don't know that. what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be bad. You can make it. You need to you escape. Go. You gotta escape. You'll need it. <laughs> you Battle gotta cry. escape. I'm okay. pretty sure that's all you got. You well, can't. Greeny, move. Greeny can take an action. Okay. Well, mental action. You can. Yeah, give you Greeny can. An you action. can give Greeny actions. If Greeny can do well, stuff good, himself. Well, good because he can breathe stuff now. That's true. You can. You can Greeny breathe stuff. Greeny flies up, and he's gonna point down, and he's going, um, to, yeah, yeah. He, I'm gonna use. Spirit familiar. <laughs> he's gonna fly up and direct this at an enemy within 20 feet, and he's gonna deal mm-hmm. 66 spirit damage with a will save. Roll a d20. Yeah. That is a. That's a 13. That is, in fact, Trey. <laughs> Let's go. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yep. <laughs> you command him, and you, Trey, you see Greeny look at you. And reach down and just... What? What? Hold on. I don't know which one's yes and no. Okay, I keep forgetting. That's a... Yeah? And he he shakes his head. There's a monster holding us. There's ghosts everywhere. And you see him well up with magic and open his mouth and just (laughs) blap. He just blasts of energy. Shoots out of his mouth. I've never seen a chameleon look so sorry in his life. Like... Apologizing with its eyes. <laughs> 26. 26? What's your DC? That succeeds. That's so, exactly my DC. So Perfect. half. So half. Just of roll 60. 3d6 instead of dividing 66 oh. in half. It's easier that way. I'm How dare that. you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, eight, that's 10. <laughs> Take 10, 10 points of. And um, now, is Marius considered an ally right now? No. Okay. Mm. Then he, then he doesn't go anywhere. But uh, unless I'm an ally, I don't think I am. What You're an for ally what? For, yourself. for what purpose? Well, he no gets one... to go give somebody a little kiss and give half of that damage to half of that half of that damage's HP to them. That would be you. 
Probably. Yes. There's, there's nowhere else that's going to go right now. Well, I'm at full health, but it felt really nice. Puts that back <laughs> in you to help you push through the spirits. Right. With, oh. with your last action, just roll a freaking d20. Okay. <laughs> One. You're just very pinned. MD. Ah, <laughs> it's like I'm holding a toddler. You dream, but the toddler David. can cast magic. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> this is the most to fun fair, I've had in the campaign. I did all I could to stop this from getting worse. I'm going to walk up and attempt to take take the grab from Trey. Don't you dare. Okay. Like a big bear hug. Athletics. Can I just hand it off? If you regular succeed, I'll let you hand it off. And still be bad. 11 on the die plus 16, so it's a 27. That's probably higher than you dare to challenge me. <laughs> so I'll just pick up Cammy and just hand it to MD. MD has the baby. I'll make you regret it, you devil. <laughs> <laughs> Try to walk out the room with Athletics her. Athletics check. <laughs> I had to do the same thing. Don't feel no bad about get it. Away do we know what her? No. I'm not. <laughs> Scott's gonna help me hold the line and carry her out. It's no. surprisingly high no. because witches have a good fortune. You're right, they do. Yeah. Scott did not help me hold the line. Yes! I rolled a four on the die. Total of a let me 15. Out. Let me out. Doesn't me in get touch. him out of the room. Come on, Maurice, let me out. As you get shoved out the door and the voices all fall away, you feel a sharp pain in your leg. Look down, see one of your own arrows jabbed into the side of your boot. And Trey. And MD trying to wrestle a screaming Cammy <laughs> in an otherwise completely empty room. Ow. What? <laughs> oh. Just stay out there for now, just in case. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to deal with this and. <laughs> Do I want to try to help carry Cammy out? <laughs> it is my turn. With I the, don't want to go back. Wait, no, I don't want to go back. We can make a bucket chain. Back inside, Marcus. <laughs> we can make a bucket chain. Just hand off the papoose. No. Where is everybody? <laughs> Here, I, I'm open. I'm, I'm ready in action to catch. <laughs> ready in action to catch Cammy. Right. All right. I'm gonna take the football. Athletic. Don't you dare. <laughs> that definitely succeeds. You That's have the baby 32. now. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> no! I'm gonna hand the baby off. <laughs> Marius is ready to aid you. So with this last athletics check, you get his his aid. Give me your aid first, so roll me athletics. No. <laughs> no. It's the, it's a flat DC to aid. It's only fifteen. Like it's it's just it's just a flat. For, for athletics? Yeah. yeah. Oh Got okay. It. It's just yeah, yeah it, it's, it's DC completely 15 18. just to aid. Okay, so you get a plus one. Marius is ready to take the baby. Alright, so this is gonna be at a plus twelve. Uh 26. Oh, this is for me. What is this against? Four, four, four plus DC. 10. Yeah, no, for sure, dude. Okay, so <laughs> I just hand off the baby. No! <laughs> now you're holding the baby. You're holding a very upset baby who very <laughs> quickly hears these voices subside, these spirits gone, and is weirdly sweaty right now. Oh, uh, Marius, <laughs> thank God you're here! <laughs> You it should was, have seen it! There was a mess in there, right? I messed him up so good. <laughs> you messed me up. You what? <laughs> There's nothing in here but us. Oh, you just didn't see it, man. I must have been transported. And I don't know what happened. I got pushed out. Somebody shot me in the foot. Oh, my gosh. You um, see? No, he, he get, yeah. gets it. It was terrifying. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. You shot yourself in the There's foot. There's so many people. I don't believe you. Before I leave the room, I'm gonna flip, flip the tables. Flip the table. Break Screw you, ghost. So you're gonna grab that decanter you're going to look at the yep. pitcher. Yep. You flip a table. Grab the pitcher. Go outside. Yep. <laughs> Not gonna spaghetti the ghost. You well, there's none left. There's nothing you can see anymore. I flip the table on him. You have this fairly ornate engraved silver pitcher. It's not fully silver. It's like silver plate and filigree around a glass bottle. Around it. It's got a long straight neck and then a wider base where most of the glass is through with just fine worked silver around it. And around its bottom is inscribed something that looks like a saying of some kind. Words. Uh, stream, fountain, geyser. Just in a ring around its base. What is it, a hose head? <laughs> I'm just like holding it, and I start to read it out loud, as pointing soon, it at Cammy. As soon as you say stream, stream, 
Water gushes out the top of the pitcher. Its top fly, uh, flying open and just liters of water pouring out over here. <laughs> <Cam. laughs> well, you're not sweaty anymore. <laughs> it's not a heavy stream, but it is a lot of water and it just keeps going. <laughs> At least we're going to be fine in the desert. I don't know how to stop it. Do you th- I think you could close it, maybe. <laughs> Wait, say one of the other ones. I say the next word. Fountain. Fountain. That's a- kind of, I'm turning to <laughs> we'll look at Trey when I say it. The water picks up. Enough pressure huh. now to spray straight, like uh, putting your thumb on the end of yeah. a hose, directly into Trey. Just absolutely soaking him. With like a gallon a second pouring out of the neck of this thing, it's gonna feel great outside at least. Soaking the floor. I think you basically got one of those like adjustable f- hose faucets. I pointed at Marius and say the last one. Geyser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Roll wait. a d twenty. No, no, Roll no. Roll a d twenty. Roll a d Roll twenty. Roll a d twenty. I need the force cube. Let's roll one. Yeah. As soon as you pointed at him, the sheer. Force blasting out of this pitcher literally shoots it backwards <laughs> out of your hands, and it goes bouncing <laughs> down the hall like a fire hose unleashed. Water spraying absolutely everywhere. A deluge throughout the caravan's rise, soaking every surface as it pinballs around the hallway before finally getting stuck wedged underneath one of the basins in the hall. Blasting water. I'm gonna Stay try and go save it. Yeah. Walk over and try to cork it. Mm-hmm. It's actually surprisingly easy to flip the top back over, and as soon as you do, it's over. I'm keeping this. It's all like over this. now. Well, that was fun. Um. I think we'll have a lot of fun with this one. Yeah. Everyone is now very wet. Yeah. yeah. We're in the <laughs> desert. Like I see this as a win. We're no longer sweaty if you're just soaked wet with water. Do you think we could just like attach that to the back of the barge and use it to propel <laughs> the boat? Jetpack. Or that too, yeah. Can I see that real quick? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you gotta try it outside. Don't try to fly inside. It sounds really dangerous and very irresponsible. Man, I'm just fun. gonna take <laughs> some of the water either off of my own hand or somewhere and taste it. I'm assuming it's like just Tastes water. Like water. Yeah, nothing. There's anything special about it. It's not apparent. It's cool. It seems clean. Tastes like water. It's quite a fancy decanter. Yeah. It's got so quite a bit of water in it, too. It's a, it's a I'd hand you a amount. card, but I'm pretty sure most of you know what it is by this point. It they, has had one. They explicitly inscribed the command words on it, so yeah. it's very easy to figure out all of the things that it does. It's That's almost it. Those are the things that it a does. A decanter of almost endless, endless water. water. <laughs> it is, in fact, actually endless. Wow. It says so right on the tin. More <laughs> items need to just come with the instructions inscribed on yeah, Why don't we label <laughs> magic items? Because wizards are weird. Yeah, yeah because make everything everybody hard. tends to want the item that they bought to only be able to be used by them and the person who made it. Oh. You still have that that one uh, scroll where if you read it, you'd like explode or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the <laughs> spirit flesh. No. <laughs> it exploded, funnily enough. <laughs> oh. Right there. Right I have scrolls. They don't make me explode. Hopefully. I thought, we, I thought we had that trap. That trap. Yeah, no, they got disabled. Oh, okay. There was a trap notebook. All right. Oh, right, right, right. that's what you said. Well, you have a cool picture now, and you're all very moist. It's the coolest magic item we've gotten here so far. You've got a fancy sword. You've got a weird cube, and now you have the funny hee hoo bottle. <laughs> Our collection is growing by the second. So, to be fair, of the three items, this is the one most likely to break the game. The funny hee hoo bottle. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. are. Shenanigans to be had with a source of literally infinite water to infinite come down. Very infinite curious. water. <laughs> infinite water. You want to go turn the world into a pool? Yes. Get like 10 of these, put them on a mountain, turn them on, and just leave. You know, logistically, the canners of endless water are not a super rare item. They're objectively common. They're not that high level. Mm-hmm. So there's probably like hundreds of them out there in the world. Just, you know, dispensing water out into Galarian. Yeah. Like, I mean, the water has to go... Somewhere. There's like an ecosystem for yep. that. Global warming Uh-oh. in Galarian is not the ice caps melting. It's too much decanter of endless water use. 
So Slowly the, raising the ocean levels. So this is probably just a pipe like outside that the pitcher was supposed to go up on to feed the fountain. Oh, almost because assuring. the water never leaves the planet. It evaporates. It comes right. You know. You know the cycle. It's still there. Like it's. I'm just, just gonna say, Gazra sends some of that water back to the plane of water. Gazra occasionally just siphons off the ocean. He's like, yeah. no, no, like, you, gotta, Gazra, you gotta stop, they, man. They, <laughs> like, it's, it's the conservation of magic water. Conservation of magic oh water. Gosh. One of the base laws of physics in Galeria, the conservation of magic water. <laughs> like, well, the hallway out east from this chamber continues along the back side of the caravanserai, almost exactly as it had around the side, though it is much narrower now. Uh, the hall only about five feet wide, easily enough for you to walk shoulder to shoulder comfortably, but not all to be able to gaggle easily around. The passageway, once again, seems to largely lead all the way to the far end of the hall, to not a curtain this time, just a corner. But as you pass, there is a curtain separating another chamber on your left. Ooh. What's behind curtain number three? Behind curtain number three, before you pick that, do you want to switch to curtain no. one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Behind curtain number three here, on the south end of the caravanserai, is very clearly a bathhouse. There are decorative tiles across the floor, interlocked in a tessellating pattern that's almost dizzying to look at. The shapes are irregular. Let's go fail another will check. Geometric, right but almost making the room appear distorted. Even just looking into it from the doorway immediately throws off your equilibrium, imparting a strange sense of imbalance. It distorts the perspective of the room, making it difficult to judge how big it really is. There are visibly a trio of large, deep bots here, each separated by narrow walkways and hanging tattered curtains. But all three of them, like the basins in the hallways you've passed so far, are abandoned and dry. Save for the one in the middle, which appears to be full of not water, but an oil or tar of some kind, a thicker, viscous, black substance. And sat on the edge of the bath next to it is a small rounded wooden shield. Not braced around its edge with metal, like a traditional wooden shield, just a shield of pure and straight wood, with a burnt carving across its face of a tiny sapling. That's not suspicious, not in the slightest. Perception man, Mr. Seeker, why don't you give me a check? Uh, 30. Well, 30's pretty good. There's <laughs> pretty good. Looking with a 30 into the middle of the room, it looks almost like l like a thicker lantern oil. Uh, you're still not positive what exactly it is. It's on. You have no idea why there's a bath completely full of it, but it seems to be the only liquid that has persisted in here as all the water looks like it's long since dried up. Seems like we struck oil. <laughs> Right. America is on its way. <laughs> I will get closer to the tar pit. I will I will be the dinosaur. I will be the dinosaur? Yeah. Oh, I tar see. Pit. <laughs> Open the door, get on the floor, everybody be the dinosaur. Uh, what about the rest of you? You coming in with him or just sort of watching him creep through I'm this gonna watch bathroom him. here? Watch him do something dangerous. I'll watch him first. I've got an idea. Is anybody else entering the room? Uh, I, I I'll, don't come in the room. I'll enter with him. Anyone who's entering the room, I need a will save for. for. Here it is. We go. Here we go. We ball. It's minor. Oh, Nat okay. 20. You're good. Oh, look at me. I'm looking at you. Oh, you're looking at me. Um, 21. 21. 27. 27? 29. 29. It's just you. It's just me. As you walk in the room, you, again, it's, it's dizzying. Fail. It's it's not, as far as you can tell, a sorcery or a magic of any kind. It's just that the floor is so disorienting, you are sickened one. Hmm. Just by this nauseating appearance that it gives the whole chamber. Hmm. As Trey walks up and reaches down towards the shield, I assume. Yeah, just, just going up to here. take it. 
you are not the only one that reaches. As a tendril of this sludge slides up over the edge of the bath and reaches out to the shield as well. Just kind of gently touching the other side of it. For so me. we're both just like <laughs> Lady and the Tramp in it right now. Oh, if I'll you raise guys my drop hand a little the shield bit. and then both reach. What if we... This is crushed. <laughs> what if hmm. we kissed in the... <laughs> pull my hand back. And this little tendril, a little bigger around than your arm, perfectly smooth, this translucent black goo, pulls the shield back a little bit towards the edge of the bath and then slides back into the greater mass. Now I'm curious. Those actually muffle this really badly. You <laughs> put the head in serious mode before we continue. You can hear anything we've been saying. <laughs> Sports mode. Something's in there. Possibly a news. Um. I'm gonna. I want to burn it. Take the um the tanter of endless water. Mm -hmm. and brace myself this time and prepare step a little bit closer just aim it at it and say Kaiser oil floats on water oil floats on water yeah. and see what happens as you aim the Kaiser at this pool and just blast braced and ready for the force this time make me an attack roll with a plus 15 <laughs> oh my gosh Natural 20. Oh, <laughs> yes! Thanks for pointing that at me, buddy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Is it flat-footed for the sake of this attack? <laughs> Roll me 12 d6 damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, okay, 5, 10, 16, 18... <laughs> Go again. Was that four? <laughs> that was four. Four. <laughs> um, 18, 20, 22, um, 23, 28. Eight. <laughs> um, I was going to say 28. 30, uh -huh. 33, 38. 38. 38. Points 76. of bludgeoning damage. Chat said the sneak attack apply. 38 the double. <laughs> oh. 12 D6 is the double. Okay. 38 oh, points of bludgeoning damage. As you see this fire hose blast the entire mass itself. Not just kind of shoot and make an impact <laughs> like you would expect if you were hitting a liquid. Like you were hitting a full object that just had a viscous form. Blasting and splattering it up <laughs> back across the back of the pool and the back of the wall as it erupts into dozens of whipping, writhing tentacles in response. Roll some freaking initiative. Yeah. <laughs> Roll some damn initiative. I didn't know Power Washer came out with an RPG version. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Good. I can't believe that 20 <laughs> Oh. Balancing all things, world two on this one, <laughs> and it spreads out as oh, you yeah. blast it, filling this Ooh. space. It is huge. Candy. Oh no, uh, dirty twenty. Trey, twenty three. MD, seventeen. Marius, thirty six. I just say you got two. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. And it blob that it is. It's a 26, which puts her. You got 26? I got 23. 23. It does put it right here either way. Marius, you are the first to react. This thing, whatever it is, certainly looks like it's agitated now and is being very effectively blasted by this geyser that has come out from MD here. Yep, I, I certainly have a lot of things that work well against some kind of oil monster. Um, I guess I'm gonna hunt prey on that. His that's prey. A, that's a good start. Um, I'll, I'll I'll shoot an arrow at it. See Give what happens. Shot. Your arrow slams into the pile of ooze, just sticking in. You get the feeling that did nothing. That does nothing. Um, nice. Nice. Good yeah. times. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> I'm my past. Did have we seen what's in the whole room, or are there still like blind spots? You've seen around the sides. It looks like it's just two more similarly sized bats and wings on the offshoots. Okay. Um. I'm. Uh. I. I, I have no idea what to do right now. Um. <laughs> let's do this. That's just a puzzler. Right there. Yeah. I'm. I'm just gonna. Pass? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going <laughs> to look around the corner just to make sure there's nothing there. Move around away. just to peek past the corner and make sure there's nothing else. There is a dry bath around to the right. Uh, the chamber's still distorted and awkward to look through, but it doesn't look like anything dangerous. We've seen what's inside bath one. Now if we try bath three. As this yeah. creature is being blasted by the geyser that is still erupting mm -hmm. from the decanter that MD is wielding here, it bursts into a huge space, again, filling up almost the whole of this chamber before these tentacles lash and writhe forward. And as it does, tentacles don't just exude from the main body of this creature itself. Smaller tendrils simply start to rise up from the floor, filling near the whole of the bath area with tentacles, with winding bits of ooze that are errantly moving around. They're not, they don't appear to be big enough or strong enough at the moment to cause you any harm, just to be in the way. This creature is not happy about this, really. <laughs> and then is immediately going to lash out in response towards MD, not with the tentacles, but just with the bulk of the ooze surging forward and opening to reveal pointed jet black Fangs that snap out towards you. 29 to hit. 29 does in fact hit. I just got. I need one of these. He would like you to stop spraying him with the hose now. Say please. No. Um, it's a shame. You take 13 points of bludgeoning damage, and I'm going to move to the remaster rules, where grab does not happen automatically, but they do still roll it. It's not strictly better or worse for you guys, because they can fail, but they can also critically succeed. So, it's not guaranteed, but there is a chance things go worse than they would have otherwise. But this maw is going to attempt to grab you as well. Against your fortitude DC, uh, I'm going to use I got a full stack of hero points, or villain points here. I'm going to pop one of them from Link 1429, as it reaches out, gets blasted a little bit back, and just doubles in size to reach around the whole of the spray entirely and nearly complete fix point the timeline. Natural one to a natural one. It's thirsty. Does not, in fact, grab you. The fire hose of truth has done its job quite well. And as you blast it back, one of these tentacles is just going to come whipping out from the side growing into a much more massive trunk as it lashes towards you with a 23 to hit. 23 actually kind of turn the geyser towards it and knock it back. Ooh. Comically low rolls from this thing here. You guys have truly no idea. It's just the water. It is the water. It's not happy about the fire hose. Trey, at the start of your turn, you have a lot of these tendrils around you. I need you to make me an acrobatics check to balance. Okay. That's on its side again. That is cocked as hell. For the master of screwed That's up dice three in that one I... session. A 16. Total? Yeah. Uh, you... I rolled a six. These tentacles reach out, and as you go to move, wind around your... Oh, can this thing be spooked? Battle cry. Mm -hmm. Could be a blob. But not that it matters. Not be immune to mental. Yeah, throw it for me. Uh, ooh, okay, thirty. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to it now instead. Yeah, not that it matters for that roll. I was just curious. Um, they wind out around your legs, and as you go to take a step, even just a pivot, knock you to the ground, and to end your turn, Cammy. Oh, made an acrobatics check to balance. Oh, I'm so good at those. There you are. The best. 
So that's a 13 on the die, so 15. You fall, yeah. and you turn in. MD. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. That you sucks. are still hosing. If you want to, you can use an action to make that attack roll again with a plus 15. The hose is still blasting. Like, that's... You can just keep it going. If you can roll it once around, you can just keep rolling for it. Yeah. Sure. I got a thing going for yeah, me. Why not? Yeah. It worked well the first time. Um, flip it up. 19 on the die. <laughs> 33. Dude. Yeah. 30, That's 34, yeah. 34. Yeah. Plus 15 to hit. Yeah. Yep. 34. You hit it. Give me 6d6 damage. <laughs> Blast. You're going to kill Six, this thing entirely ten. with a fire hose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. 19. Um, 20, 25. <laughs> That's almost as much as the 12 of these things. Can it be flat-footed? <laughs> oh, my God. Because gang up applies right Flat now. Tendril. Does it apply to range attacks? Do you get gang up on range attacks? Mm -hmm. I don't think you could sneak attack a fire hose. No, but it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I sneak attack He's a pit. Rogue, yeah, though. sneak Real. attack a pit. You can sneak I attack can range attacks club. as long as it's not as you blast at it. The massive room filling bulk of this thing shudders and jolts quickly to dodge out of the way, but doesn't quite get it. A thirty three is a regular hit, even if it is flat footed. Cool. You have two actions left. This this decanter's in both my hands. It's, yeah. I don't I'm think holding. it specifies. <laughs> if not, I, I want to kind of like brace it and one have hand. it open right here. Get Twin it faint with the water gun and a pick. <laughs> pick out the, the scimitar and just hit I it. I have it open right here. It is. Uh, oh, that's so funny. It is held in two hands. Yes. Okay. I kick. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know what else to do here. I mean, you've blasted. You can stop blasting with yeah. your hand, but also you can just kick either way. Yeah, it, it'd take an action to close it and. But that is the best thing that we've got going so for far, us, man. Please, it's done I'm 63 damage. <laughs> it's doing pretty good. <laughs> I I kick. It's not a it's not a great kick, but it's a kick. I kick. I rolled a three on the die. Kicking cans over here. Um, Kick again. I rolled a 12 on the die, but it's like a minus eight. Unarmed, I'm agile. I got 25 total. 25 is not going to hit it's as the thing it's pulls back and intelligently seems to be dodging. Make me an acrobatics check, Mr. Roadman. Because you're in a bit of a unique situation here. I rolled a 13. That is a total of a 30. Uh, you are good. Fall prone, lose your turn. You are able to keep your balance here on the ground. Uh, and you realize... It's because you're fighting this decanter. Because you can't just stand here. You are moving your feet a bit. You're stepping around. That's making it harder for these little things to get you. Also have steady balance. Also have steady balance. No, that worked. Was that make a success of crit? Yeah. Oh, you're perfectly fine then. Not bothered at all. Marius. Okay, uh, the water is Make me gone. an acrobatics check. The water's still going, right? Water's yeah. still going, 100%. <laughs> He'd be hosing. Uh, 28. 28 is a regular failure. You cannot move further than a step without falling. Completely ruined my comedy option. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> could I take two, two steps? You can steps? step multiple times, yes. Okay. Uh, hmm. And the only thing separating this wing of the room from the middle is a curtain. You can't see through it, but you can easily just like reach or swing through it. It's a crappy curtain. Could I jump and do a do a leap? Oh. You can make me an athletics check. I want to try that. I want I want to try to jump to be next to MD. Just to I want to be a step to, next to MD. You're next to me. Can I can I would, would I be within reaching range of the the water? If you stepped up one, you could. Okay. Up to like the edge of the curtain, you you'd be fighting mm -hmm. through the edge of the curtain. Okay. But you could do it. So, I'm within range of him. I'm gonna take out the soap that I still have and put it into the stream the of water. Soap. To try to the bubble gun. Combat the oil. Yes. With soap. <laughs> it's dawn. Okay. It's a bubble gun. Yeah! What are we rolling? Um, <laughs> what are we rolling? Ranged attack roll, improvised Make soap damage. Improvised. <laughs> An unarmed attack roll. 
<laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> the soap laser. Are you training crafting? Yeah, crafting? Make it a crafting check if you uh, know, if I'm you're gonna re-roll that because <laughs> I, I really want to clean this up. Come on, man. Thing to act. Act, so. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, that's a 17 on the die. Crafting is 11, 28. 28? As you stick yourself into this and blast this bubbling beam of cleanliness oh across God. this thing. That's what I'm saying. That's, awesome. oh <laughs> it's, that's it. It's melting. It's just flat footed. Like, that's just gonna. I don't think it can be prone, <laughs> but it's just gonna be flat footed now. As it. It is now writhing and squeaking and bubbling from oh. this foaming mess that is quickly spreading across it as... It's bath time. It's yeah. bath time. We're it's in the bathhouse. Absolutely bath time here. It is... Thank you, Science Bucks, for... Very <laughs> unhappy with the situation. And it would still like the hose to stop. It is going to bite you again. Has it, has it said please? No. Okay. It can't talk. It's a blob. Like it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm using the real point. Screw it. I'm using what, the real point. Well, what was the total? This is three not ones in a row. Uh, yes. This, this is a horror campaign. You're going to make it four. Are we supposed to be scared right now? Or? <laughs> make it four. I'm scared. Bite him. Natural 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the total? 42. Okay. <laughs> huh. Close. You it's did it. bubbly. He's rolled so bad. It's bubbly. <laughs> A bubbly maw opens, filled with foam, yes! <laughs> and the bubble pit surges towards you. What is happening? Bubble bath. It is literally for thirty bubbly. points of damage. Ouch. Stings your eyes a lot. And oh, it's yeah. going to grab you in the it's bubble bath, free. probably. <laughs> yes, forty to grab you. Oh my gosh! Got it. You're pinned. Ooh. That's a crit. The As this still going. maw closes around you and you feel The gun yourself, is still going. It's still <laughs> it doesn't turn off just because he's pinned. It sure does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it closes ahead. around him. You see this maw that it extended pull back into the mass and not just grab, but swallow you whole. Now, is it no, 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 no. Is it sickened from eating soap? It's you about are, to turn into a bubble. Things are going to happen. No. You are taking 17 points of bludgeoning damage, and you are swallowed whole. You are in the bubble bath. You cannot breathe. You cannot wield a weapon that's more than light bulk, but you're still holding this decanter. It's and all light. you in the outside side can see is blowing a huge bubble inside this, this thing. Yes! This thing is going to inflate and pop. At least I'm not the only one. <laughs> Finally, I'm not the one who gets to swallow. said that was a clean bite. <laughs> Trey, on the ground... You now with soap <laughs> everywhere. Ironically, it is easier to avoid this thing's tentacles because it's having a very hard time <laughs> grabbing you. I still need an acrobatics check, but it is much easier now. Nineteen on the die. You're so good. That's a yeah. You uh, what's the total? Oh, I'm sure you're good. Twenty nine. Die. Every the room is difficult terrain to you, but Doesn't otherwise matter. you're okay. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to ready to dual-handed assault to pop the bubble. <laughs> pop the bubble. Pop the bubble. I want. I want to wait until the bubble gets a little bit bigger, and then I want to pop it. Cami, acrobatics check. Okay, how much lower did it get? Because if a twenty-eight was still a failure, my modifier's plus two. Well. Is it possible? That sucks real bad. Is it? I don't think it is possible. Roll it. Hey, Anything's man. possible. You can drop a 20. It's a 17 on the die. 19. Is, so that's about the best that I could possibly 19 do. 19 is a regular failure. Yay. I'm going to make bubbling. So <laughs> you, you cannot move further than a step without falling. The good news is you can't fall and lose your turn if you're already on the ground. That hey. can't happen to you twice. But you can stand up, you can move, you just can't do more than a step without falling. Okay. And that I can just move. Well, you can step. Right, I, I couldn't like do any spells or something. No, you can, you can take your turn normally otherwise. Oh, you just can't like I do see. full moves without falling down. You can stand up, you can step, you can do spells, you can do whatever. Oh, excellent. Then You're I'm limited going in like to... movement, movement. Perfect. I'm going to step forward and 
<laughs> uh, do you have you a bubble up, spell? Do I have anything pokey on me? <laughs> you, are you crawling or are you getting up? I'm going to crawl. Okay, Army you, crawl. You can crawl five the feet as an action. Yeah. So makes it easier. <laughs> Grab yep. on the tentacles. <laughs> I just slide forward. <laughs> yeah, just start swimming through the bubbles. I love the bubble effect. Oh my gosh. At this point, bubbles. there's like a foam coating starting to form from the sheer amount of bubbles. Oh, do I have anything sharp on me? Do you have bubbles? Guns are sharp. Oh. <laughs> they do piercing. Pop, pop. Or bludgeoning. <laughs> oh my god. Shoot him. <laughs> do yeah, it. Yeah, I'll shoot him. <laughs> I didn't write down what my shoot modifier is now. It was plus nine before, so. You just, are, you, are you pulling your gun out? Yeah. He pulls out her gun. Can't be takes a shot in the bubble. What's your dexterity? We knew that guns would be my involved dexterity. once oil showed up in the desert. Uh, they <laughs> should be shooting at a... Are you, should be right at a uh, plus 12. <laughs> and there it is. All right. Here I go. Give me your shot. Whee! All right. Derp told me that that's a plus 12, so that's a 17 on the die. Um, so it's going to be a tw 29. Because it is flat-footed from the soap, <laughs> that hits. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You... Shoot yes, dude. the bubble. What kind of damage do you do? It's piercing. bludgeoning or piercing, but whichever like, is better. Number. <laughs> it's oh. not a lot. Uh, it's is it just it's D6? D4. D4. It's a co pistol, right? <laughs> it's so with no small. rooms or anything. No. no. Okay, you shoot it, it with a pop do. gun. You it's do emotional damage. It's supposed at the end to of the pop. Day. That's, why it's <laughs> that's what we're going for. That's true. Wee. It's four, four on the die. <laughs> and bludgeoning or piercing, whichever is better. Oh, you I'm gonna shoot say a bullet piercing. at the bubble, oh, no, you and you, oh, you oh, see, see the edge of this rapidly growing bubble with MD, and your bullet just goes... <laughs> and you can see it just stuck <laughs> in the outside of the bar. Ah, uh, darn it. I'm going to try and push it through. It takes four damage. <laughs> MD, you are swallowed whole. You cannot breathe. You cannot wield anything. It's more than light bulk. You are holding on to a decanter and currently waterboarding yourself inside of a soapy tar monster. What do you want to do? Keep shooting. Plus 15. Yay! <laughs> this is the one time. 12 on the die, so it is a 27. Flat footed. It's, it's flat footed when you're inside it. It's flat footed while you're inside it. But 27. <laughs> Inside this thing now, as you hold this, it doesn't really have room to blast so much. And you can feel a great amount of the bulk gathering around the cap of this decanter. It doesn't have the intelligence to close it, so just kind of trying to block it. And that's mostly working, because the 27 does not hit its flat-footed. You have two actions left. Um, duh, 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 duh. you know what? Just let go of the decanter. <laughs> don't, no <don't> blasting. Yeah, <laughs> it's holding it now. <laughs> this is yours. Um, action to pull out, to grab the scimitar. Um, right, which I believe is a long sword right now. Yeah. Make okay. me a flat check, because you are also grabbed, so trying to draw that needs a flat line. And I want to change it into, with my hand on it, change it into a war razor. Okay. Yep. My man knows how to use three weapons, and he's going to use all of them. Yep. It's a smaller weapon. It's That's easier fair. to wield. That's is what you need. Yep. It's a flat check. A two. Ooh, can't quite get a hold of it. You can you can fight for it. You can use another action trying to grab it. Swing the oil and so it's probably pretty Eight. Slippery. You'll get it out. It you can't shift it this needle, turn, like but you, you have the long sword in your hand, and you take 21 more points of bludgeoning damage from just the crushing force and the waterboarding that's going on inside this bubble here. Um, Marius. So, before I'm that. unconscious. Ooh. Oh. Unconscious oh. in the blob. All yeah. right, dying so, one then. Before that, uh, before the turn, uh, my ready to action. The bubble has now grown with water. It is swelling, I would like yes. to pop the bubble. Fair enough. <laughs> Dual-handed assault, so just a regular attack with D8s for damage. That is a... With your spear? Yes. So you thrust the point of the spear into the bubble, and it punches through. The bubble does not pop. 
And as you pull back out with the spear, the oil immediately just reconvenes over the hole. It's just... He's completely immune mm -hmm. to piercing damage. Marius. Huh. Um, looking in the bath, the the bat, the empty bath that's next to me, does it have like a cork stopper at the <laughs> bottom of it? It has a drain, much like the basins in the hallway do. Uh, a flat drain with a second feeder pipe on the side of it. Okay. Dry as bone. There's nothing obviously blocking that drain. I want to dive in and see if there's like a hairball at the bottom of this. Um, I will try to do the same. Uh, the, the, yes. Um, instead of trying to give it a little piercing poke, I'm going to try to give it a little slashing poke with a claw. Fair enough. So. Give me your attack roll. There's so many status cards you're playing right now. As your claws rake across its surface, you see much the same effect. Your claws can trace through this liquid body of the thing easily with barely more resistance than the spirits had, but it perfectly seals up afterwards. It is immune to slashing damage as well. Oh my gosh. Two actions left. And I need an acrobatics check. The canter was the right answer. Honestly, the canter was great. Mm -hmm. 19. Uh, you can't move more to step, but you're good. Okay. Um, just... You know, I mean... Even though you have claws, you can still just punch. And that's still bludgeoning. It'd be at the same attack modifier oh. as your claws, unless you have some kind of feat that gives you a bonus to the claws. Okay. Then, I, then I'll try punching it. If at first the claw don't work, punch, punch again. That's what they say. <laughs> you can just... Put the claws away. <laughs> use I'm, yeah. the, use uh, the fisty uh, part. Think of how MD fights when nothing else works. Just punch them. Just throw hands. Yeah, run those hands, man. Get in there. That's why you got gauntlets. That was that was a six. I don't think I'm gonna hit, regardless of whatever my modifier. Probably is. not. No, but you have one action left. Punch. Use your prey. Punch. <laughs> he has a point. Get in there. Except I want him to be bludgeoning, not a point. <laughs> No, it's an 11. I don't think it's going to be that What's your modifier at this point? I don't know. Is, is, a melee, is it just a melee strike? It would probably be the same as your claw. I can't imagine it'd be different. I don't have the oh. either of those. So then it'd probably be Take. the same as your bow minus the runes. Yeah. So if you have a plus two, it'd be too lower. So 15. That's yeah, I'm yeah. sure you're not going to be hitting so. an 11. It's, it's AC is not level. Yeah. This is not your grandma's ooze. This here. is not your typical ooze. No. The so dream this, uh, As it comes around to the ooze's turn here, you are going to see this bubble shift and warp. And you can see MD sort of just drift around inside of it as he's separated from the bubble and pulled into the middle of the mass. And the bubble rolls up to the front of the thing and just opens with a blast of water as the decanter <laughs> out of the side of the thing and across the floor. So it spits it forth. Get that thing out of me. <laughs> Launching soap water through the room before it continues its assault. It is going to, um, you shot it with a gun. It's eaten you. It was four damage. It's more than they've done. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> 41 to hit. I would hit. Like to try and disappear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Understandable. I don't. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 40 God. points of damage. You're fine. That's exactly half of me. And a 24 to grab you against your fortitude DC. Oh, that meets it. Beats meets it, beats it. it, yep. Down on the floor, it's going to grab you, and it does not immediately swallow Cammy in. You see it just kind of smash around her, keeping a hold of her and keeping her pinned where she is as a tentacle emerges out to just lash defensively towards Trey with a 26 to hit. No. A 26 does not hit your turn, Trey. Can I can I catch the decanter? Uh, yeah, the decanter's just on the ground, spraying, sliding around. You can grab it. Give me All an right. acrobatics check. The funny he who tentacles are here. I will re-roll that seven, because I, I don't want to trust a 17. Tentacles. That's to a nine for a 19, which I know regular, passes. Regular failure, yeah, yeah, you can step. 
I don't uh, lose and with my your turn. With your first action, you can grab the decanter. Yeah. It's still housing. You grab can it. aim it. Boom. <laughs> Water gun. Plus 15, buddy. Another seven. That's not going to do it. 22 is not going to hit it, no. You're shooting it across this thing, but it seems like it's learning. You've fought slimes before, I believe. Ooses are typically completely unintelligent. You know what? Hand the decanter off, like, just towards Marius. I'm just dropping it off in that direction. Okay. Pull out the tray. It's back, oh, baby. Yeah, I still oh, have it. It's back, baby. Cammy. Uh, You're on the ground, so I'm not going to make a real acrobatics check unless I'm you want to stand up and go somewhere. You are grabbed. You're not pinned like you were before. Okay. Grab so just means cast. you can't move. The and you have that DC flat point. check to try to do anything that has manipulate traits. Mm -hmm. So, most spells. Oh. Hit it with Gosh, bludgeoning the spell. We have kind of process of elimination that of the mundane damage types, only bludgeoning will work. Um, I haven't tried much in the magical, though. Did I see that MD went down? You when... can still see him. You can see him just sort of okay. limply floating. Because the thing's translucent. You can see through it. You can see MD in its core. Okay, I'm going to try and do a little damage control. I'm not sure how much uh, this will help when he's inside the creature, but he is within 30 feet of me, so I'm going to try and stabilize him. Okay. So that'll be a flat check. Right? Yeah, I'm debating if you have line of effect, because you can line see him, but he's inside the ooze. It is a physical it just barrier, same as one... Wall of Force. One dying creature, 30 feet. Uh, it targets one creature. Targets creature. Not emanation. I'll give it to you. Give me okay. a flat check for the grab. Okay, it's 16 on the flat okay. check. So I'm pretty sure legally it doesn't, but it's, I'll, I'll take the argument of target. And I don't care but, uh, if it does now. <laughs> stable. You throw that out and gun in one hand, <laughs> prayer in the other. <laughs> You're no longer dying. You're wounded. And then... For my last little bit of action here, I'm going to try and lay on hands myself. Because uh, that, that hurt me quite a bit. So that... Oh! Oh, I can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at the bus! Don't look at the bus! <laughs> um, which one of these? Let's do four. Uh, oh. Let me find who to thank. I believe that this is from... Guns and Prayers. The upgraded Good. version of Thoughts and Prayers. <laughs> guns with guns. I question you find it in a minute. I find it. Thank you. Uh, Thank to you, chat, mysterious. To our wonderful support we'll, we'll figure, dig it up in a second. She's a little disorganized right now. There's stress. <laughs> I'm a little stressed. There's this panic is growing. Here we go. All right. No, that's a one. It doesn't Ooh. even matter. Oh, God. Still spends oh. the focus point, but does not manifest. MD, not dying. Question. Answer. Am I still sicken? I am unconscious. I guess not, no. You can't really be sick. And you want to get some of those cards out from front of you? Yeah, I had three. Okay, well, you're going to keep two. Yeah. I think you know where this is going. You I'm are. Unconscious. Can you take mental actions? No. Like, not ones that interact with other things, but about yourself. Not really, no. You're, you're unconscious. You're like, you're out. You are. Because you could wake up. <laughs> wounded one. Mm hmm. At the end of your turn, you take crushing damage again and go back to dying too. Because you are still swallowed whole. Yep. You are also still suffocating and no longer holding your breath. Yep. That doesn't do anything on the first round. Nope. But next round. <laughs> oh boy. Next round, this starts getting ugly. You might be about to wake up, sir. Next round, about to get real bad. I would like to thank Scott. It actually is a fortitude save immediately. I'm oh, immediately. So oh give God. me okay. a fortitude save. On a failure, you will go to dying three. On a critical failure, you will die. I will not. I died dying five, sir. Ooh, well, this just kills you. It's yeah, not, it's not a dying. It's oh dying gosh. of suffocation. Yeah. But you have a thing, sir. Um, still... It's a fortitude save, you said? Yes, it's still a fatigue. Um, 19. It's a flat DC. Suffocation's just flat DC 20. Dying 3. Oh, it wasn't fatigue. 
Everyone can see this happening, which means I had a stress check from the three of you. Oh, you see seven. your ally dying. What? Seven. Stress up. Eleven. Good. Five. Stress up. Dying three. Marius. Um. He said the oil is translucent. Oh, wait. It is translucent, yes. Can I see if there's some kind of comedy stopper at the bottom of this? <laughs> Uh, uh, it looks the same okay. as the other two bags. Um, Use the water. Day, it's funny. You're better with it. Oh yeah, you pa you pass it over to me. You have so. the decanter. Uh, yes, I it's will. It's like on the ground between us, so you could just pick it up. I will Action grab that and start giving it. Yeah, he just dropped it. So there is a. Either one of you can basically, with the new, what, I don't know what the action's called, either one of you can spend one action to pass an item to somebody else. So it, it's his action, yeah. and now he's wielding the decanter. Perfect. Um, you roll me and tackle the plus 15. Okay. Blasto. Blasto. I'm going to re-roll that because I really want to. It only works when MD has it. Yeah. Um, MD's buffing a choice. It is his true power. That's, uh, let's, let's say this is... Uh, this is from Scott. Thank Scott! You, Scott. Scott! I'm going to really grip it's it. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of soap there. and It's very uh, slick now. I almost guessed it for mine. Yeah, I should have. So i got to get, get my covering hands on oil. it. And, it's, yeah, it's covered in oil and soap. This is, and it's like slick glass and silver. This is the hardest yeah, thing to points. grab in the history of the world. It's a Bubbles! <laughs> 12d6, baby! Oh. <laughs> Give him the hose! Oh my god. Wait, I'll just, I'll is it a spell attack roll or is it a ranged attack roll? It is roll? a spell attack roll. Okay, because I was going to say he could deadly aim it. Yeah, it is range. a spell attack. Oh, That'd yes. be very funny. Oh my gosh. Why don't more people? This is a level 15, one spell. Why don't more people take this? This what? spell is good. Geyser. It's literally just level one hydraulic push with a really high attack six modifier. Plus another it's not even so like it doesn't even, it's level. This is level one damage. 66. Oh 46. 46? Bludgeoning. Oh my the God. bubbles. Please tell me it ruptures. It has taken 111 damage, all but four of which has been from the fire hose. Yes. <laughs> for reference. I love this that item. That blast sears through this thing's body. You put your thumb over it and just... Pulling it apart and blasting enough away that MD slides out onto the floor next to it. That is enough it. to break the rupture DC and free MD from the core of this thing. You have one action left. Uh, is, this is a ranged weapon, technically, right? This is a spell, but oh. why? I mean, I was gonna try to do You can only do it once. Technically, you guys can't both shoot it in one round, but it was funny, so I'm gonna yeah. let it go. It can be <laughs> shot once oh, per, yeah, I guess it's a new round, actually, legally. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, legally. It can be shot yeah, once per round. Oh, it, can, it, can be it can make the actual attack roll, oh. but. Uh, so yeah, you got it on the line. I was just giving it to you because funny, but no, this is actually the start of a new round, so it's legal. Okay, my lawyer. So there Paul. isn't too much of a reason to pass it back then. I'm no, I've, you yeah. can. It can be shot by someone once per round. You can't just all pass it down the line and everyone just Yay. shoots the geyser as their main method of attack. But it would be funny. <laughs> or firefighters. Yeah. <laughs> shoot, fighters. swap. Shoot, shoot swap. swap. This is fighting a pre-fire. <laughs> We're taking it all the way to level 20, baby. <laughs> and this thing is starting to lose a oh, lot of itself. Geez. A lot of its mass, a lot of its sludge, a lot of this tar is being blasted oh. and splattered across the walls and the floor around it. It's probably about two-thirds of what it once was in size, and it is desperately trying to keep that shape. It's pretty yeah, Kick it. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to, <laughs> you know, keeping my hands on that uh, geyser, I'll, I'll try to kick okay. it. Minus five. It is. It is an attack roll with it. Minus answer. four. Minus four. Minus probably way less because ranger minus things. Three. Yeah. yeah, minus three. Minus two. It's agile. Hey. Uh, it's a twenty-six. Twenty-four. Then if it's minus two. Twenty-four is not quite gonna do it. The angry blob is still here, and it is being blasted, and it is tired of the damn hose. It's gonna let go, Kimmy. It's gonna eat Marius. Okay. Oh, not again. Put the hose down. <laughs> 25 to hit. Uh, no, it misses. Oh, I said put the freaking hose down. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's, it's so... I've rolled, I think, it's attacking the I, hose. I think I've rolled seven now. It's actually attacking thing. the oh my it, uh, not the person. It is 
turning and just at this point weakened as it is the force of the hose is very effectively keeping it at bay back. stay back it can't get its bulk up to you all it can do is just lash with a tentacle nope i rolled a three a one and a two trey you know what time it is baby tray time it's the tray time it's tray time oh come on the oh. man the oh. legend More like a that's a two the two <laughs> That's half of a twenty. Bonk. That's a four. That's he rolled like the I'm mob hitting roll. it That's a fifth with a, a mundane a medical tray. Yeah, you yeah. are hitting it. It's just not. That's a seven. I'm <laughs> getting so better. Cammy. In about seven uh, more attacks, I'll be rolling twenties. <laughs> I'm back on the ground. You're still on the ground. I'm not, again, I'm not making you guys roll the acrobatics unless you need to try to move. I'm crawling. I'm not gonna bother. Oh, <laughs> crawl. Where are you crawling? Yeah. Tell you what. It's going to look a whole lot like my last turn, but this time it's going to do something. <laughs> You're not grabbed anymore. So no I'm not grabbed checks. anymore, and he's not suffocating. And it's now true. he's he not is, he's dying. He's just regular. Well, he is dying three still. No, 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 no. Stabilized. He's One. not. Wound. Now he's wounded too. One more time, baby. Welcome <laughs> to zero hit points. Now I got to heal myself before I go down. Here we go. <laughs> That's my whole turn. Unconscious. Marius. Hose in hand. Hose. Come on, big money. If you hit it, it's 100% dead. If you hit it with the hose right now. Oh, that's a 25? No, nope. 25 it doesn't quite land. It's Kick only it one twice. action to fire the Kick hose. Kick it twice. Though. I'm assuming I can't. If it's, You can only use it once. Right. Can't shoot but it only takes one of your actions. Yeah. So you got two actions left. We'll yeah. give it a kick. The fire hose is still I can't. The fire hose Why done, do we bother with anything else? The fire hose has done 107 26? damage to this. No. Okay. It's slippery. Put the freaking hose down. It's no. biting. It's trying. No. It's like a dog fighting the garden no. hose. You see this ooze just no. as it tries to get its bulk up. What's left <laughs> to snap around you to bring these fangs to bear? 29 to hit. Okay, that hits. You can have it. Okay. 18 points of okay. damage. And it's going to try to grab you with a 35. It, it, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And it's gonna pull you inside. Okay. Here Welcome we go again. to Blob Jail. Well, the self waterboarding Marius with the decanter goes back to Bubbleville. You take 14 more points of bludgeoning damage yeah, from it's being been consumed. Ruptured. It reforms. Ooh. Trey. I mean, you know what I have to do. You have to Trey. You have, have to Trey. To it's the law of the To slant. be fair, I don't have any other choice. You need bludgeoning. Yeah. yeah. This is my only bludgeoning weapon. That's a five. Oh my gosh, dude, oh no. this is insane. That's there an we 18. Go. Okay. So I'm sure that would be a 16 idea. minus five, 29? 18, 29. That exactly hits the flat footed. Oh That's gosh. exactly the flat footed. Two handed tray damage. A D6. Bonk it. Plus my plus seven. Plus all so. your fighters. A D6. So 12 damage of 12 bonk. 12 damage. That's again. more than what happened when That's, we shot that is, it with yeah. a gun. Okay. <laughs> Bonk. Hit it again. 123 on the board. Going for a 20. is a good hit, but does not break Marius free. It's a good oh, hit. Uh, it's more damage. It's weakening Cammy. All right, man. <laughs> and he's uh, unconscious and soapy on the floor. Marius is inside the blob. I will not. Trey is swinging for the fences. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm I'm sick and tired of this. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna do a level one heal over at MD. You call this the wake the hell up. Yeah, get up. <laughs> Here's your espresso shot, sir. Oh man, she's trying so hard to hold it. She thought the hose would get us there, <laughs> carry us over the finish line. Honestly, I'm right. Ne I'm punching it. Punch it. That's better than anything else so I could do. you get, what, D8 plus 8 health back? You get Oh, yes, you're some. going to get some. I mean, realistically, it's going to be slapped out of you by the first thing that hits you. Yeah, but yeah. D8 plus 8. On I, I'm just getting you health. up right now. Give me up. <laughs> I can't. It's going to. Okay, so it's 1 plus 8. Nine. So I have 9. A conscious. Easy. Listen, do you know how much it's going to take me to crawl over to you right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's the rest of my. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you in a minute. I got to punch this thing. Um, I don't know what that is. I've never, I've never been called upon to punch. <laughs> We're only D20. Tell me what the Same number on the D20 gun. is, and I'll tell you if it's worth doing the Plus math. 12. That's good. No one. It's not worth doing the math. Wait, you can no, reroll it. <laughs> reroll it. I wanna. Put a number on the board. Let's do. This is. 
I need you. This is from Mr. Jake the Impaler. Okay. I need you to roll in that 20. Flip this over. It says instantly kill the ooze. Please, 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 please. No. It's a 10 on the die. I don't think it's worth oh, it. 22. Oh. M. D. You You're wake awake. up on the so floor, <laughs> feeling your body slightly kind of sliding around the oil and the soap from the tentacles around you. You still hear this thing squelching and slamming around. You hear. <laughs> You look up and see Trey beating it with a tray he still carries for some reason. Your turn. Uh, okay, cool. Is the scimitar still in my hand or do I drop that one? I went unconscious inside of it. Um, I, raw, you drop everything when you go unconscious, but I've always let you guys keep whatever in your hands. I've uh, never made you guys drop things when you go out. Cool. I s kip up. And <laughs> let me guess. Slash and piercing don't work. Correct. Cool. Punch. <laughs> Um, but scimitar's doubling ring, plus two. Plus greater two striking. greater striking fist. Mm -hmm. Okay. For an eighteen on the die, um, I have my card here. So it's a thirty-six against its plus. <laughs> it's three d fours, good sir. Three d fours. Come does, on. Does it take piercing damage? No. Or precision? precision. Also no. I didn't think so. Those are D6s. D4s, my D4s. friend. D4s, D4s. Unarmed is just D4s. I'm it's got always a Cestus. Is it a gauntlet also D4? I think it just makes it not, it's not a D lethal. Uh, no, no, it's, a D it's just a D4. It just makes it where it's not lethal. Or where it is lethal. Yeah, it's not No non penalty for going lethal. Um, 6, 12, bludgeoning. One yes. 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 yes! yes! I punched a bubble and it pops. This last... Grab my decanter. Get up. Decisive strike. <laughs> you punch the bubble. Grab the and decanter. it can't hold it. It ruptures through you. The decanter comes out. You grab it. Marius tumbles out onto the ground. And this... It's just like a pile of mayonnaise on the floor. It doesn't immediately settle. It's still a heap. Don't color it, it like that. keeps this disgusting shape heaped up over the side of the bath. With that shield that first drew us into the room, still visible now at the bottom of this path underneath it. But there. it is dead. There's your prize. This better have been worth it. <coughs> it's a and piece it's of wood. Out. Soap and oil. It's very clean now. But. Scoop up the shield. And reaching through, you scoop up the shield. Turns it's into another ooze. Still perfectly, beautifully clean. It's wood, but it's exceptionally hard uh, harder even than steel dramatically harder it feels like it might be harder than adamantine whatever this thing is made of it's nigh indestructible and do you want to give me one quick check to see if you can start above zero with uh, i'll give you just crafting sure. most of the things to learn about this are it's very nature it's mechanical seven so uh 20 total here you go i get a shield you get a shield, and the zero level knowledge for that, for convenience, is just the actual hardness and stats, which are impressive, to say the least. Could I try? Uh, it's a tiny bit impressive. Hot damn! Whoa! That's some numbers. Hardness thirteen, hundred four HP, break threshold fifty two. It has like. Could I try to identify? It's it with almost the more sturdy than I am. I only yeah. have one person roll on things. He'll, he'll learn it as it he has uses it. Or less HP than I do. <laughs> It's got more than me. It's I'll got 13 more hardness than you do. Ouch. With 13 one hardness, that <laughs> that's a pretty hefty little shield. Now, it's not big. It's a very small little rounded buckler. Uh, it is mechanically going to be a buckler. Huh. Ugh. Well, you know what's nice about bucklers? Mechanically, open hand. I can't use it. Yeah, Buckler does not take your open hand. Yes, you do get to keep your open hand. I'm going to strap that on. Told you how much I hate bruises. Yeah, they suck. It was really fun for a minute, and then it was not. Yeah. <laughs> it was great until it wasn't. Well, worst case scenario, it couldn't have killed you. I, I guess technically up. speaking. Vomit yeah. up some oil. I felt like I was going to die. Worst case scenario, you're just going to wake up, right? With horrible, horrible trauma. It'll be rough. You'll wake up. Now you don't get to wake up, and you still have the trauma. 
There isn't much left in the caravans right here. As you continue onward around the bats, the hallway turns around once more to the eastern wing. You saw from the outside that there was damage up near the front, and... Before we go doing all this, the man who's almost dead with 9 HP might want to heal. He's fine. You (laughs) see, this hallway (laughs) is much like the one on the opposite side. It doesn't have anything in it. It leads all the way to the collapse and the rubble, meaning there is just one single chamber left here in this building. Now, from the outside, it looked like it was tall enough that it may very well have multiple floors, but you haven't seen any sign of a staircase or anything inside yet. This room has a door. No curtain, nothing hanging in front of it, a stout wooden door, a jar wedged open by an ancient ledger that looks like it's tumbled out from inside the room and just kind of fell in the gap. And you can see from here, even through that crack, a staircase that leads upstairs and what looks like what was once an office. Well, after well, you. We want to go up or we want to tend to you. Uh, he, yeah, he's not looking so hot. <laughs> from upstairs, you can hear footsteps. It sounds like a person milling back and forth, back and forth. Marius, make me a perception check. It's actually a ghost. That's a 13 for 30. The 30, you also hear muttering, like someone talking to themselves under their breath. It sounds like somebody pacing thinking, thinking through something out loud. Can I make it any of the words? Not at all. No, let's go say hi. Is my ring glowing? The ring is not glowing. Oh, shoot. What, yeah. what are the chances of everything in this building trying to kill us? Pretty good. Well, let's give it a shot, see what happens. Before we, let me just, I'm going to lay on hands him. I'm going to blow my last uh, focus point on that real Take quick. 24 just in case. Yeah. 33 is better than 9. Just in case, you know. Walking through this office towards the stairs, there's little in here. Uh, A low table, a couple of sets of shelves, several dozen ledgers laid on the table, a few of which are open across its surface, and you can see what look like records in the hundreds of pages in this book, very tiny, crammed handwriting. Uh, Recalling knowledge, looking at this as you walk past, you feel like you're having a stroke. You should hydrate about it. Let's drink. Oh, hey. Pencil. Space case JLP. We drink. That was my last drink. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. You feel for a moment like you're having a stroke. <laughs> the letters are recognizable. Some of the words even, but it's unintelligible gibberish. <laughs> Have you ever been so far as to do more like? Like, it's, <laughs> it makes you feel insane uh, reading it. it. But it's meticulous. Like it was put down very diligently, very carefully. And give me a, I would say society probably makes the most sense unless you have a lore that fits. Your lore's just cults. That'd be society. Okay. Or deception. I would take either of those. You're going to lie to the papers. That's not so good for me. Uh, 11 on the die is 15 with society. It might be coded, maybe? but it doesn't appear to be a threat right now, and there's something upstairs. Uh, I can't read that. (laughs) I'm just going to walk upstairs, lead the way. Let's see what's upstairs. Upstairs is another room just the same size as this one. An office very tidy, tastefully decorated even. Art upon the walls, and it is clean and free of dust. The only room, well, I guess it's the bath now, the only <laughs> other room in the caravanserai for which that is true. Uh, across the walls are framed paintings of landscapes, of fascinating and insane vistas. Things even wilder than what you may have seen in your own dreams. 
uh, many spired city with massive sheer marble walls and enormous brass gates put right next to a windswept waste beneath a distant and ominous looming plateau in the darkness and a port a port city that looks to be made almost entirely of rough black basalt there is a single desk in this room behind which a figure paces back and forth back and forth he doesn't even immediately seem to notice the group of you coming up the stairs the figure is dressed in tattered yellow robes that look like they were just thrown together from curtains collected from around the caravanserai and painted with you're not honestly positive what a couple more of the ledgers are up here on the table in front of them the figure stroking his large beard streaked with gray paces back and forth talking through something hello oh i gotcha <sighs> made him jump please Forgive me my inattention. My attention has been fully consumed by the frivolous manuscripts and the understanding contained within these myriad pages here before me. These texts contain knowledge, esoteric, occult, and strange, difficult to comprehend and comprehend. I shall, a given time, I hope, but you, you faces I had far from expected to see here this day, that I could perceive allies, comrades from across perhaps time and space themselves from dimensions adrift. Welcome! Hello. Uh. It looks like Count Lowless. What is your name? Ah, introductions, introductions very much are in order as I find myself bereft of proper memories of the specific minutiae of our previous meetings and our relationships we'd had former and prior. I am the King of Yellow. Pleasure to oh. meet you, Your Majesty. And here is where we will leave our episode for nice today. Pull out my gun. Pull out my gun. The King of Yellow. A face mm. you recognize from a couple of memories that you have pulled forth before. It sure looks like Count Owls, but mm. he's acting a little weird. <laughs> mm, Count Owls acts weird anyways. Every bit you can remember of the Count is reserved. Is quiet. Is musing he is not a talkative man but this figure before you very much the opposite he can't stop <laughs> when we return next week maybe we can talk to him maybe we can stab him maybe we can do whatever it is we want both of those things the king of yellow Whoever this is, is certainly interesting. We would find him here. How? Has to be determined. If you want some more Pathfinder before then, though, before we come back next Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern, I got good news about tomorrow. Because tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, we have a new episode of Abomination Vaults. We bring back that guy. He's a funny dog with cleric magic. We bring back this guy over here that you can't see. And he gets to, you know, play the game sometimes, too, instead of just being stuck at the computer literally forever, because he's cool. Sometimes we have to let him out and walk. So we have to, we have to let our cage out of the cage. We gotta take our, our, go our tech Cages. monkey for a walk sometimes. <laughs> a little enrichment. <laughs> Enrich oh uh, keep my them gosh. healthy. We have Nick and Jen and Bren and Bobby. You might remember all those names from the old Age of Ashes adventure. We gave Nick his own show. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's a good time. And Wednesdays now, also, we have our third recurring show that's come back. Secrets Between the Stars. Well, there's only two of you to pew-pew this time. We usually have a three-part pew here. He's, he's pew-pewing in our hearts. One of them. And I think it's still going to be minus a, a part 
pew there to my understanding. You guys are poor man for secrets, I think. Right? I think Kevin's still out? I don't know when Kevin gets back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Kevin's still out. I'm not sure. I know. I'll cry. I'm I think he's crying. Right, this illusion is, be back. like magic was like, so strong. Yeah, we're never going to see. We actually hallucinated him out of reality. But Come Wednesday on. evening, 7 p.m. Eastern time, if you would like a, a more late night show, show, a more weekday thing. It's not eating your Saturday or your Sunday. And also with sci-fi and also with Starfinder. We have that. If you want to support us, we're about to record a post show. We do that after every episode we do here at UGT. Whether it's for this or Abomination Vaults or Secrets or whatever. We put all those available to all of our supporters on Patreon and on... Apparently it's Kofi, not coffee. Oh, is it? Yeah, they made their entire theming around like coffee mugs and coffee. I thought that was the point, was the joke, but it's apparently Kofi. Says whatever who? it's called. Says who? Says Kofi. Okay. If you give us <laughs> five dollars of support over there you'll get access to all of our bonus content right now like i said it's post show episodes for everything that we do we talk about the episode a little bit and then just you know insane unhinged ramblings beyond that it's a good time or you can support us and get something for yourself more directly by checking out our sponsors eldritch foundry norse foundry ark and forge pocket bard those first three we've all got a discount code for that's utt show it'll give you a variety of discounts and help us out i don't think we have anything with pocket bard yet but they're very new and they're very cool and you should check them out anyway i really like them and we're hopefully we'll be able to get you something here soon thanks for hanging out everyone thanks for being here enjoy the rest of your weekends stay safe stay safe